Hey guys, Ender Fizz here. I'm a new channel. Please show some support and enjoy the video. For 100 days, I have to survive in a Chernobyl zombie apocalypse civilization server, where I will encounter friendly players that help me out by inviting me to their base. And I have to hide from enemy players who roam the radioactive wasteland filled with zombies. I will build trucks, helicopters, a secret base, all to survive the zombie hordes and bandits. Can I make it to 100 days or will I fail? Tune in to find out. Welcome guys back to a brand new video. In today's video we will be surviving in Chernobyl. As we can see we are on a very tall building. And a building across me has a crafting bench, some turrets, and also a player built podium. And I also did spawn in with a useless flashlight. Look, it has 0% battery. But a bad start is nothing that you need to fret about. We have some rooms here. Oh, and we can also get a bed already. Double chest. And, oh, we got a single... Frag use grenade. Okay, I, I hear zombies. Better close the door before anyone bites me in the back. And also three gold ore. That's pretty useless. We got a spawn wolf egg. And we also got a wooden shovel. Okay, bro. Looking outside, I think it'd be wiser if I maybe went down this way. Oh, or the zombie are, are the zombies waiting on me? Ah, I broke my feet. That's not going to be a problem, because if we continue running, we can outrun all of these zombies. But yeah, guys, day one is day one. We need to get a weapon very quickly, and we need to craft it. If we break some trees, we can get a crafting bench going, and then we can get even more tools. Seeing as it is nighttime, I think I will be sleeping the night in one of these buildings. Oh, and we found also a chest. Let me just block off the pathway. So the zombies can get to me. Okay, you know what? This will be my base for now. Let's also get some... Let me see. Um, torches. Let's get three furnaces going. Okay, we will be smelting three gold ore. I can hear them walking, but I, I really hope they can't get in. It is raining, and look at them. They're just looking into my soul. Now, if we want to get to Chernobyl, we have to be very quick and swift about it. So there we go. We got a leather cap, some leather, leather boots, and also three torches. Let's go three gold. Now let's get some planks. Oh no, I think it's wood. We need we need fresh planks. I will get myself a wooden axe, and I will also get myself the one, the only guy. So you know it, a pickaxe. Yes, finally got the upgrade. Luckily for me, I did get a few lucky chests along the way, and I get I got three synthetic polymer composites. Let's place the bed, oh, sort of in the middle. Is something around me? Well, my vision went dark for whatever reason. Okay, we're gonna sleep real quick, we're gonna make a day to you, and I do want to say that if we're gonna get to Chernobyl and extract the resources from the, <laughs> from the radio containers... We need to be a little bit more quicker, so it's about time that we do collect our stuff and get to crafting. At the moment, every single torch counts. Ah, the fresh outdoors. Get out of the way, zombies. If I'm to replenish my health, I really need to get my supplies first and maybe even get a farm going. We have a uh, what? This building is insane. Okay, I'm gonna build it off real quick before any zombies decide to come in. Oh, yes, there we go. Look at this. We got we got one iron. Is this it? Is this all the iron we get? Oh, no. The padding of the windows is also from iron. Okay, so, okay, so we, we kind of hit the jackpot with this building. We are no longer in the need of iron. We've got an unlimited supply. Oh, 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 zombie swam through you. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm bit, I'm bit, but I, I am not infected, for now, I'm not infected, okay, let's get a zombie, get another zombie, with the pickaxe, that's right, so they can break windows, they can break windows, guys, that is not good, I am making quite a scene here, because there are quite a lot of zombies here, 
Oh, speaking about, speaking about, that's the wave number three coming from the other side. I really need to get my iron up way more quicker. Sort of like this, this system works a lot better. Seeing I, as I already have three synthetic polymer, I was gonna craft a Glock 19, which is a pretty good starter weapon, at least for the initial days of survival, and it does not require a lot of materials. Oh, that was the last one. Okay, so last block of iron. We got 59 blocks. This is a really good start. Wait, I don't think I have an entrance into the base yet. Do I? Oh, no, no, I do. It's right here. Oh, damn, I got bitten for a second. There's so many zombies. Okay, time to break. Three. Oh, there we go. We're run. Wait, there's a second building with even... Oh, no, no. Oh yeah, there's even more iron. Okay, so when I run out of iron, I can come back and get some more. And even more iron. But one question. Can I eat iron? I don't I don't think I can eat iron. So uh, my health is going to be a problem for now. I need to get just a little bit of stone while the zombies did not surround me. And the zombies are pretty slow. In this at least region yeah the zombies aren't supposed to be this slow but they are and if you guys didn't notice I am also very low on hunger that means my screen is going blank it's almost like I'm passing out and look at that we have torches on this building so okay we're gonna check out this place oh damn I got bit what is that a frog what is the frog doing in the zombie apocalypse Oh no guys, I think we found a player's base, I think. Because there are cars, at least run down, and one of them has even a battery, so that's good. And we did it, we did it. Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 it's a plant! Oh no, oh no, 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 zombie, bad zombie, go away, go away. Um, can I, can I block this off? Yeah, I can, good, 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 good. Oh damn, the zombie can walk through you! Okay, we got him. Let's break free and block off kind of the the exit. Okay, that's better. Guys, look at this. We found literally like a, a drop of packages, which is super neat. And we do so also have a an opening and a chest. And the chest has some good materials, a, lo a lot of gunpowder, also a crafting bench. Now, if I right click this, yes. Yes, a weapon popped out. Let me see. What weapon did we get? An APS pistol. Now, it takes 919, which is exactly what I was looking at. And I cannot craft it yet, so I cannot craft the magazine for it. But it's a, it's a good weapon. I do have a little bit of wheat, which I can use to craft, let me see, five bread pieces. Now, will this be enough to replenish my health? Oh, yeah. Luckily, it is enough. Okay, let's go guys. My colors will be coming back shortly and I will not feel as sick. So uh, that's that's a good thing. Maybe I should sleep like on a second floor. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, let's place just a little bit of torches. I think this much will... Oh, nope. Still not good enough. Monsters nearby. I think if I jump like this and then do this... Oh yes, I can. I, I've out outrun the zombies. Let's go. Let's not forget to get the bed. Now it is sunlight, but there is a problem. And that problem is, this seems like a player's doing. So I think I am not alone in this world, or at least was. Maybe he got eaten, or she got eaten by a zombie. But either way, we found their kind of camp site where they farm weapons, I guess, from the crates. Either way, there uh, there is quite a lot of materials here. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, let's see, first of all, what weapon we can get. From this first crate, we got only two pistols. We got another APS pistols. We got we got four pistols now. Come on, bro. Any more? Any, anything? Like, at all? Let's get this block. It's too much iron to uh, four feet. Oh, no, bro. You kidding me? Another APS pistol? And another pistol. Okay, so we got quite a bit of pistols. 
Okay, we're gonna throw out, like, pretty much a lot of them. Because, uh, yeah. Look at this, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five pistols just floating around. So whoever comes, they, they can think some magic's at work. But in reality, I, I'm just looking at all these pistol pistols, and they they are pretty bad. Oh, that was not a pistol this time. This time we got, let me see, an AK-101. Okay, now this is, this is badass. Oh, 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 here we have another weapon. It's an M38 DMR. Okay, so uh, an M38 DMR and also an AK. I think I'm getting quite ready for this survival. We're gonna put the AK at the back. We're gonna go with the, the DMR for now. Oh yeah, beautiful. So let's see, this M38 only takes a NATO magazine, which means we need to be a little bit limited. We need two steel ingots and also two gun metal ingots. So gun metal is made from composite, which you get from gun metal composite, and this is how you craft it, copper and tin. And luckily for me, this chest has both of them, but not not in high quantities, might I say. So that's that's unfortunate. So if we combine these two, wait, what? I think we only need um. Let me see. I think we only need uh two. So I think I think if we just leave, leave it like this, this might be good enough. Now we get the two furnaces. Put them up, and let me see. We need to smelt it. This guy also has some coal, so we do get lucky on this occasion. Let's also place the rug and like kind of the garbage that we don't need in this chest for him to find. And he's he's probably gonna be pissed, but who who, who are we to uh, argue with him? Steel dust needs to be smelted, but we created using iron and also coal. Let me see, we have 15 coal. Oh damn, I, I don't think we have enough. We, we need one more coal, bro. Please, please, please don't use up all the coal. Oh, yes. Okay, so three gun metals. Beautiful. This is gonna take our coal um, proportions to literally zero, which is uh, pretty sad. There we go. One steel dust. We need to break down one iron block, place it like this, and get another steel dust going like this. Now we need to use up this. This thing here. Come on, come on. I, okay, so I think wood is gonna be good enough. So I think we, we do have two steel dust on us, becoming steel ingots. I do not want it using up too much wood now. Okay, so two steel ingots. And there we go. We can create a 100 round Stanag drum magazine. Now, we can create a 30 using the same materials, but if we're literally crafting the same materials, why not go for the ultimatum, which is 100 rounds, right guys? So there we go, 100 rounds. Load the bad boy up, and it does not have any bullets. So now, how does it look at least? At least we look badass. But yeah, we do need the Stanag bullets, and this is how you craft them, pretty easy. Oh wow, okay, we got a little bit too many, but I think it's uh, just right, actually. While I am here, I will get myself a new tool set, so let me just throw out everything that I don't need. So three pieces in one, we got an iron chest plate, an iron helmet, and iron boots. And let's also finish it off with the one of the only iron leggings. Put the bad boys on. Now let's collect uh, all of this. Ah, ah, okay, okay, there we go, there we go. We are now ready for travel. Let's reload the kind of 100, 100 round magazine. Now let's reload the weapon of choice. Let's try it out. Oh wow, okay, I am making a lot of noise, so a lot of noise will attract even more zombies, but you know what, to test out the weapon, I think I think we can we can handle like that. Can we? Oh yes, we can, absolutely. 100 rounds from the hip, yes, 
Yes, okay, good, 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 good. Now let me see. This car, it does not have an engine, but it does have a battery. Let me see anything in the back seat. No, nothing in the back seat. You know what, zombies? I'm not gonna sleep my another night here. Nope, I will not sleep another night here. I think I will travel this night because we've been sleeping way too many times. We are attracting quite a bit of zombies. So let's actually not use the weapon to not make a lot of sound. Let's just build up. Hopefully the zombies are not gonna follow me. At least they shouldn't, right? They, they can't. Okay, you know what? Let's just go up like this. Quickly scale the building. Okay, at the very top, we don't see anyone. Can the zombies climb up? No, they are too, too unimportant to climb up. We are across that building. And that's because as I was... Oh, you hear guys shots? Okay, um, yes, I hear shots. Did he notice me? Where is he? I don't know where the shots are coming from, bro. I don't see any zombies running. I don't see any zombies running. I did say I was... Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. I'm not gonna peek. I'm not gonna peek. But they're at the top of my screen. He's clearing out the zombies. I did say that I was walking around this place at the night. And I did notice that the cars were gone. The cars were gone. Which is uh, pretty unusual for the cars to just disappear. But there we go. He's literally right there. He thought I wouldn't find his hiding place, but I did. And I did raid him, so he's gonna be pretty much pissed. Okay, he's, he's gonna go in, check out. Oh no, all of my stuff is gone. What do I do? Let's put on the backpack that I found. Okay, so we do have a backpack. Now let's fill up the backpack with the garbage. Uh, hopefully that guy will not run away super quickly. Let's just put pretty much everything that we don't need for now in there. Let's also get a grenade on fast equip now that guy i can still kind of hear him oh there he is but i couldn't see him now i can see him again oh i think the seasons changed something okay so the server reloaded maybe it's a server kind of thing oh uh, hopefully he's not gonna look this direction okay i need to get down to him to his level and attack him real quick okay so he is going that I oh damn 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 okay um okay I'm good I'm good I need to run this way run this way um where is he he went that direction somewhere he went that direction somewhere but I cannot see him okay I need to regen my health real quick he does not know that I'm coming so I should be safe damn he is super close he is so close. Did I shoot guys? Oh, I, I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him again. Okay, run after him. Run after him. He has a he has a light. He does not know that I'm here. He thinks he got bit by zombies. We're gonna shoot him through fr fr the glass, boys. Hey, I'm here. Hey, oh, I got him. 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 Okay, inside. Go inside. Go inside. Oh, I got him, bro. I got him. I don't have any mats. Oh, he has so much loot, bro. I need mats to build off this thing quickly bro hopefully no other players heard this hopefully he's alone a lone survivor and he didn't have no buddies please please be no buddies okay um let's go let's build off there we go there we go there we go oh he has so much loot this is insane what do i do 
I'm gonna take it bit by bit. Oh, I think I think I can fit a lot of it. Bro, he had so much stuff, it's insane. He had a literal armor piece, night vision goggles. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna start wearing his armor from now on. Is this loaded? Oh yeah, this Ismash SV98 is loaded, boys. This is amazing. So he was a camper and a sniper, which uh, makes me not feel super guilty about it. Oh, and he did drop some food. He did drop three pieces of chicken, which is uh, pretty pretty neat. Okay, so this is this is pretty good. We did find quite a big guy. He had quite a bit of loot, and this will help us survive 100 days a lot better. And by the way. I should check out if the night vision actually works. Let's also get his NCR boots on as well. It is so dark. It is very, very dark with, without night vision. Now, sorting out my inventory, guys. I do think that it's maybe about time for me to get a base going. And by that, I mean, of course, like a legitimate base. Let me see. I do also see that I do have quite a bit of weapons. So my original kind of DMR has only 28 uh, rounds left. No, 23. But that guy had a scar. Let me see. Oh, oh, whoa. The scar, it's also the same magazine as mine. So it does take um, 556 by 45 NATO ammunition. He does have quite a bit of magazines. A little bit of bullets. Night vision. Oh, yeah, six 100 round magazines. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be running low on ammunition anytime soon, but yes, it is daytime now, and I do feel a little bit safer already. So, let me see. It is, if I'm gonna get a base going, I should get a base going maybe in some vicinity outside kind of the tall buildings. That way, I could get some chests going, get myself some supplies, and maybe even go after Chernobyl itself. We are in the vicinity of Chernobyl reactor zone, so we are kind of technically in Chernobyl, but we are not really at the reactors, because the reactors are very, very nuclear, kind of, kind of nuclear energy infused, and we would probably die within minutes if we would come near it. So I think we need to get like quite, quite some good loot beforehand. But you know what, this area here, it does seem very spacious, maybe this area here would be pretty good for a base, and seeing as I am no longer in the dire need of super, super cool loots, I can throw out the bed, because I do have my own bed, and look at this, my footsteps. Luckily, they are disappearing with time, so no player is, no player will follow me. I cannot see any nameplates, I cannot see any players anywhere in the windows, no bases, so I'm pretty sure this area is a little bit more on the obsolete, uh, desolate side. I, I don't think there are any players here. Yep, yep, it's a, it's a complete wasteland. You know what? This seems perfect for a base. I think I'm gonna build it right here. For the base, we need quite a bit of wood. So let me see, spruce wood. This is the wood that we will use for the base build. The base will be right beside the water, right beside the pond. I think it's gonna be really pretty. And also the trees are a little bit too stacked up together. So 30, we need a little bit more. Just a little bit more, 30, 40, damn, there is, there is an endless supply of trees, and this is, this is what's so great about it. This is what's so good about, like, this, uh, mod, the server, you, you could say. The trees destro are destroyed instantly, if you have, like, a pretty cool axe, such as I do, iron axe, which is super neat. And we're gonna build a base around the water on the sand, so somewhere around here. This gives us like a clear way access to the water. We can drink it, use it for crafting, all of that good stuff. Now let's just get, let me see, you know what? First of all, first of all, we're gonna throw it out. We're gonna get a chest, because we do have a chest. Singular chest, we're gonna put it here. I think this place is pretty desolate, so uh, there are no even zombies here. So uh, this means that it's a good place for a base. Well, let's also get a fridge, you know what? Look at this, Appliance City. That's right, I can I can even place my pork chop and some cooked chicken in the fridge. Now this is what I call home already. But yeah, either way, let's see. Let's first of all place like a few good things in the in the thing right here. We do have a scope, but I don't think we can use the scope. Let's just maybe leave it like this. Let's also get the 100 round magazines just in case and also the Asimov, the parachute. 
Uh, his flashlight has 91% battery, my has 98, which is pretty neat. Let's also get a Remington shotgun just in case if we need it. And of course the ammunition. Now, if I was going to build a base, I would build maybe like a small one first. So let's, uh, while the sun is nigh, while the sun is pretty high, let's get at least like some, some starter base going. So uh, I think this can be pretty neat right here, right on the shoreline. Let's also get a lot more wood. Yeah, just way more wood. Now, if I'm going to make a base, I should also give it some windows. But you know what? I did, like, pretty much destroy a guy through the windows, which was not super cool. So maybe no windows, because it is, like, a PvP server. So no windows would be, I think, the better kind. Also, I don't think I'm gonna maybe even, like, destroy the next guy, the guy that I see. If I see, like, a guy, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shoot him straight away, because I think I'm pretty much geared out. If he wants my loot, he can have it, he can shoot at me first. If I'll win by some chance and get him, get, like, an upper hand on him, so be it. But for now, for now, I think, I think we're gonna chill. Let's also get, super quickly, a crafting table. Place it like this, and let's also get the doors. That's right. Oh, no. Um. Okay, yeah, you know what? These doors, they're gonna be perfect. Yep. Super camouflaged. Yep, super good. I am still very, very uh, new, and I don't really want to use torches, because the torches are so visible over such a long distance that I, I really... I I I'm, like, scared to use torches while the base is not encapsulated, so no light would, like, go out of the base, because when the light is stuck inside the box, then that's when I feel safe, because no one knows that I'm in this box. So, you know what? For this night, we're just gonna sleep, I think, pretty casually. I think I heard shots. Maybe it's just OST, like, to the game. So, yeah, I think... Damn. Damn, bro. And my base is not finished. Okay, I cannot use light sources at all. Uh, shots also, like, transcend over very long distances on this server, I noticed. So, like, I can hear a guy, and he'll probably be, like... 5 km, like 5 kilometers, like 10 miles away from me. So, uh, it do be like that. So, that does not mean that they are very close. In fact, that guy sounds like he's like 20 kilometers away from me. So, there is 0% chance for, of us even meeting. But still, it's pretty cool that I can hear his shots. You know what? I think we're gonna already sleep the night. Let's just get a double, double glazed window. I mean, wall. Yeah, there we go. Just a double. Double, double, double. Okay, looking good for now. Let's sleep the night and hope for the best. We are now coming close to the city, and there are quite a bit of zombies here, as usual, but we are in the city, perhaps to find some better equipment, and maybe even a vehicle of some sort. So, uh, I don't think vehicles spawn in, like, just regularly, like, in between trees. So, I think they, like, kind of are designed to spawn in, like, buildings and stuff like that. Maybe car, car, park spaces. That's right. Wait, does Chernobyl have, has, uh, car parking spaces? Because I don't think they had cars back in that day. Like, it was, uh, it wasn't, like, a very, very western country, so to speak, guys. I, I really don't know. I think they did have, but they had, like, very olden cars. Oh, there are quite a bit of zombies here. Okay, you know what? I think we need to not use the weapon, not to draw attention to us, as usual. And we're gonna maybe try and find, like, a laboratory of some sort. Ah, oh, there are so many zombies. Oh, you know what? I should not stop in case the zombies overrun me. Well, we will get rid of one of them to teach them a lesson. Yo, stop moving. I'm not moving. Can you hear me? No, guys, I don't have the bottom. I don't have the bottom, mat. What is the... Yo, uh, what is the bottom? Speak. Bro, I don't want to turn around. I have no clue who's speaking to me, guys. But I have no clue how to... Crouch ha if you're friendly. Crouch if you're friendly. Uh, he's telling me to crouch. Guys, let's crouch. Let's hope for the best. I did say I'm not gonna... Okay, I do have... Uh, okay, I'm I'm, believe you. You friendly? Yes, I am friendly! Don't shoot me, uh, guys! Uh, microphone! Microphone! How do I use it, bro? 
I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Look. Oh no, I didn't mean to get the weapon out. You can have the beat. Oh, <laughs> he's aiming, bro. Bro, what am I doing? What oh, am I hold doing? Beat, beat, hold B. Hold. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yo, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, what is up? What is up? Hey, so, dude, thanks so much for not, like, shooting at me right away. Like, I'm super friendly. I'm super friendly. I'm, like, new to, I'm new to the server, so, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Oh, you took off, you took off your mask. I can see your skin. Wait, so that was a helmet? Was that, like, night vision or something? Oh, no, it's, uh, against radiation. Have you got your, wait, wait, uh, against radiation? Center? Uh, oh, I think I do. Oh, no, 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 no. I do have one. I do have... How, how do I use it? Oh, just equip it. Just don't equip it? There is any gas. This, say, this area is safe. Oh, good. Pretty good. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm new. As I said, I am very, very new to the server. In fact, I'm just, like, trying to trying to survive for 100 days, believe, believe it or not. Is that even possible? Did anyone do that before? <laughs> No, I don't think they did. Bro, you're looking around. Are there many bandits on the server? Oh yeah, there's a son. You're actually pretty lucky that you met me. I'm I'm a pretty nice guy. Uh it, dude, like thanks so much again, like uh to be truthful, thanks. Thanks a lot for uh bandits, they love to camp in the buildings, so you oh. always gotta look out through the windows. Oh okay, I, okay, I see, I see. C can I equip my weapon? I'm not gonna shoot you, don't worry, dude. Like I'm friendly. Yeah, yeah, sure, you can. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you need any, you need any help since you're new to the server? I mean... Here you I, go, take cake. Pff, yes, yes, please, I am very low on food. So, yeah, strawberry cake, thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. Not a lot of zombies in this area. I think this area is, like, safe. I also met another, like, region where zombies didn't spawn in. So, uh... Oh, yeah? Where is that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, my base is there, so maybe, like, some other day I could show you it, but, yeah, like, uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. neat, it's neat. They're, like, zombies sometimes don't spawn in in some regions, so that's, like, a safe haven. The sun is getting down. I think we're gonna have to spend the night in the city. But um, I, I can sleep the night. Go check it out. Um, I, I don't have a bed, though, so, uh, do you have two beds by any chance? All good, bro. I think we're gonna be good. Just follow me, we're gonna go and see my base. Oh, your base is nearby? Hey, dude, yeah. of course, hey, let's go, let's go. Like, again, I'm super friendly. You, you can trust me by 100%. Now, guys, he does that not sound, hear me. That doesn't sound too friendly. Oh, no, he's on TV. Are you sure you're friendly? Dude. If I wasn't friendly, I, you would know probably, because I saw a non-friendly person, and he started shooting at me. So I'm pretty sure that the fact that we're talking, we're, we're automatically bots now. <laughs> are you alone? Are you a lone survivor? Or are you like in a clan? Is this a clan-dominated server, is what I meant to ask? There is a lot of clans, but they're mostly bandits. So you just gotta watch out with people who are in the group, but I'm solo. I'm a solo hero. I help out people. Sounds very intriguing. Now, guys, he's leading me to his base. I'm still, like, on a whim if I should whoop, whoop, whoop out my weapon and shoot. Uh, dude. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm, dude, gonna dude, 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 dude. I'm gonna throw a smoke and we're gonna go around it. No, get back, get back. The smoke is toxic. The smoke is toxic? What? Okay, flip your gas mask. Wait, I don't have a gas mask. I lost you. I lost you. I lost okay, you. Oh, don't. Just follow me. Just follow me. Dude. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm step. following you. I'm following we, you. We gotta get out of this place. Bro, you free a smoke? You said it's a toxic smoke? Yeah, it is. It's too easy to out from the buildings. Uh, do you want to sleep here? Uh, damn. I quit my- I, I quit my flashlight. They probably know we're here. Uh, are you talking about players or AI? Cause, uh, like... Never double them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. True, sometimes true. it can be AI, sometimes it can be real players. Real players, they have the buildings. Oh, yeah, I totally get that. We're gonna eat the cake that he left to regain the health. Yo, yo, zombies behind you. Get away. I'm gonna throw over Oh, I'm running. I'm running. I, I don't see you, though. I, oh, oh, dude, you, you have okay, grenades? Wait, I, I also, I will have one grenade also, which is pretty cool. Damn, you are destroying those zombies. 
So is this like a safe place that we can like use flashlights, sad, and maybe even yeah, yeah. uh this part of the shoot weapons? Is safe. Oh, is it? Okay, good, good. Hey, look up. Did you see me? Oh yeah, now I do. Oh, I, I was thinking, where are you? Because I was looking around. You, I, you left some cake. Play the game. You're like a new. Yeah, I am pretty new. I am pretty new. I wait. I also have that parachute. So this is how you use it. Yeah, well, we're gonna have. You, you have a parachute. Thanks a lot for the parachute. Uh, I'm not sure how to use it, but I think I'm. You know what? I think I do. Yeah, right click. Oh, you just right click. Yeah, it's pretty easy. By the way, uh, one last slice of cake if you need it. If you need one. Oh yeah, that's a good cake. That's a very let's, good cake. Uh, let's equip the parachutes. Let's go. Just follow me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm jumping. Wait, wait. Ha wait. What the hell? I thought I knew how to use the parachute. It's not my first time. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, I'm using it. I'm using it. Oh, the parachute. Okay, do, you, do you see my base? Just come up to you. Come up to you? Come up to your base? Like, is it somewhere here? Yeah, it's a random building on the west. On the west side. I'm looking at east, and I can see that there is a very tall building, which is, uh, like, uh, build it off. Do you have, a, like, a patio? You live, like, on, like, the top floor? Yeah, yeah, you'll know that it's my base. Oh, yeah, I mean, true. Yeah, I, I can see it. I can see it. Can I land? Oh, oh. Oh, you're here already. Can I land at the top of it? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. No, I'm coming. I right click. And the parachute's gone. That's it. I'm at the very top. I'm at the tippy top. I'm right here. Yo, right here. Welcome to my crab. <laughs> <What? around. laughs> hey, I mean, sounds, sounds very intriguing. Welcome to my crab. Well, welcome to your crib, is what you mean, so you say, oh, nice axe, by the way. Does it chop trees? Because I'm using a vanilla axe, it's an iron one. Oh yeah, it's real good. Oh, is uh, it? Here we got the home defense, 50 cal. Fi wait, wait, what do you mean uh, 50 fire cal? Fire. More like 500 cal. These turrets, they're military grade, where did you find them? Do you just find the equipment in, like, military zones? Oh, Chernobyl, defense. I haven't been to Chernobyl yet, so... Is
my wow. Light lamp. Oh, it even works. Your lamp even works. This is amazing. So you can like turn it off and turn it on. Uh, this is the balcony which I which I use the parachute from to uh, land to the base, go get away from the base. And there is also a trap at the very bottom with water. Just oh. as a safety precaution if the parachute doesn't work. Oh wow, oh, so this is actually a very neat way that you can travel. You don't even need a helicopter, do you then? <laughs> no, no. No and helicopters. Lower, we have another... Oh, it's, uh, it's been blocked off, never mind. It's under construction. Oh, I see. Uh, I think I think that's it then. Yeah, the zombies, they like to come up on the... Using the staircase, so I oh, it up as well. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. yeah. Left, some areas open, so I can shoot them. That's that's super cool, super cool. You know what? I it's becoming better. Careful. I will. C can I just jump on the trampoline? Yeah. Can, can you show me how, how you do it? Because uh, I really... I'm going for like... No deaths kind of thing, so... <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I can demonstrate that it works. Jump, 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 <laughs> jump, jump! Oh, whoa! Dude, you're j jumping pretty high! Yeah. Oh, you're getting higher and higher! Yo, jump down! Okay, I'm gonna jump down Look. Oh, the zombies are attacking you, bro! Oh, you land in the water. Okay, I'm jumping down. I'm coming down. Guys, let's hope this is not... Oh, there are so many zombies from over the night that I stayed. Okay, one, two, three, go. I'm coming! Ah! Look at me! I'm gonna go in the water now. Oh, dude, this is crazy. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, guys, he cannot hear me for now. I'm quickly gonna say that I am following him. He has, like, a gift for me. Maybe, like, some weapons. Nah, nah, never mind. I, I thought I had a moped here, but I think the land is stolen. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Guys, if you are having trouble hearing him, he is saying that he had a moped here, but uh, it got maybe stolen or destroyed. But, yeah, it's, it's all cool either way. 
I mean, Molto, yeah, bro. Thanks a lot, dude. I'll see you around. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna lead up and then go back to my base, build off. See you, brother. Bye. Yeah, see ya. Okay, guys, this was an experience. It was pretty insane. Not gonna lie, uh, meeting a friendly player was definitely a lot better than actually uh, shooting one. Oh, I heard. Oh, I can hear. Guys, is this a frog? Is the frog making this weird sound? It's almost like the frog is making like some super creepy sounds, but we are coming up pretty close to my base and from that person we encountered Maltzo, his name was, he did say that I can probably use flashlights in my area. Uh, so I think I'm gonna use just that. Now I can hear a lot of frog noises, so I think because we live by the water, that's my base. Right there, finally beside it, we can hear a lot of frogs, especially maybe in the night. Wait, is he following me? Is he jumping up and down? Guys, is that what frogs do, or is that like a player trolling me? Is that like an admin morph into a frog, or is this like an actual frog? Only one way to find out. Uh, nope, looks like it was a real frog. Okay, yeah, I I'm just being very, very very speculative very very cautious you could say because uh, i really want to uh be pretty chill about it i i'm not looking for no trouble anymore i i do know that we did destroy one player but that is because that player bro he had so much loot and he was maybe not friendly like i think that he shot at me first now i did look back at the footage guys and while I was hiding, it's almost like he shot near me because I heard bullets, like, run across. So maybe, maybe he shot at me first. So maybe I'm not even, maybe I'm a victim. No cap, maybe I'm a victim. Let's just place some torches like this. And let's sleep the night. So I do want to say, guys, that meeting that person did i kind of open up my eyes to being a better person on the server especially considering other players have probably spent a lot of time gathering resources and exploring the world and you know what he did say that i should check um the radiation meter when i get home gas detector so i think i think this is what he oh zero okay yeah i think this is what he meant and this area is pretty much safe is the water safe let's check out I think, yeah, the water is safe as well, so, uh, I don't think we have any radiation or at least gases anywhere near us, so we are on the safer side here, and this is a very, very desolate place. The, the map is super huge, so I'm kind of pretty much secure, so I can expect that no one will find me, because, uh, I did spawn in, and I, I only noticed one base. Either everyone lives underground, or everyone lives... In like spaced out regions and we cannot see each other's bases or something either way i only found his base his base is actually the very first base we saw when we spawned in so uh i i, I was gonna tell him that but i kind of forgot i think that'd be that make him like pretty much pissed not gonna lie because uh, it shouldn't spawn me in as a new player um, besides someone's base so close. But maybe he was offline, so that's why it kind of spawned me in. You know what? I think maybe it's about time for me to get some bones and get a wolf going. A house pet. He will definitely... He will definitely help me in protecting my base away from the players. Let's now get a roof going. You know what? The roof, it's gonna be from glass. Yep. Roof glass. Here we go. It's gonna be ugly, but I'm gonna try and make it pretty. And we're gonna do the best we can. Let's get, guys, one shovel. One shovel coming up. Let's also place this stuff that we don't need in here. And let's also get furnaces. We have two furnaces. Let's place the two furnaces sort of like this. Let's also get a little bit of spruce wood. Place it like this and place a cake at the top. At the tippy top. So there we go. This is my cake area. <laughs> We don't have a roof yet, but we will get the roof. And for that, we do need to get a little bit of sand. But I don't want to get the sand around my base. Because it's a very, very flat sand area. I really want to get, like, a, the sand from 
maybe that shore somewhere where it won't impact kind of my area because I want to keep it I want to keep it fresh and good looking frog lag is it tasty no one knows we also have a clay forming around this sand area because I did see some bubbles so either that was a fish or that was clay forming and yeah, let's just get a lot of sand. I'm not picking up picking it up yet, but I will in the meantime. Let's just do this a little bit. I can I can hear I can I can hear animals everywhere. Look at this! What is this? What is that? There are literal bubbles. Okay, you know what? Let's just get it. We need a lot of sand. I think a lot more than this. Even though we will have a multi uh, kind of base, like multi block base, I will make it. I will make sure to have it be pretty. That's right, the base is gonna be very pretty. Let's place the sand in the furnace. Let's also place some charcoal. You know what? Let's divide it up. Divide it up like this. And there we go. Let's get to smelting. We will have a roof being very nice but also I do want to say that maybe I should get like the outer layers of the base camouflaged a little bit for that I need shears uh, he did say that the base is kind of safe and I kind of believe him but what if he's wrong wait block of quartz no this is uh we don't need a block of quartz we need let me see we need iron and to be more precise, we need three iron to create... No, we need three iron to create shears. Okay, there we go. Got the shears. So let's keep the inventory at place. We're gonna get a little bit of camouflage going around the base. So for that, we need a little bit of um, block leaves. Shears will do just fine. We, we will get these leaves from the trees without cutting down the trees. Also, I should probably get... some at the very bottom like this
this is it for for now. I'll see you when it's daytime. I can see, well at least I, I spotted an airplane crash. So I'm not sure if that's auto-generated by the server or if it's a player-made crash. But either way, I don't see a lot of players and I, in fact I don't see any zombies being aggroed. So one way you can find out that the zombies are, or, or I mean the player is somewhere near close, is that the zombies will be aggroed to them. But I don't see any zombies being aggroed to anyone but me, so I guess I'm pretty much safe for now. Okay, you know what? We should go up. But I will be, I will be, um, maybe a little bit on the sneakier side, because I really don't want nothing funny happening. Okay, you know what? Let's just go up a little bit, see what's up. I will get my gun on the ready, because if someone pops out, pops out, uh, I need to spray him like it's a confetti. Oh, there is even smoke here. Okay, let's check it out. Can we go up like this? There is... <clears throat> there is a chest and we have a fuel pump, fuel hose, and a jerry can, but the can is currently empty. Okay, so I think we need to fill up the jerry can. Oh, transfer time. Okay, so I guess we got an achievement. So we can maybe fuel up. Can we fuel up this airplane? I don't think it has engines. And it does smoke a little bit. Does it even have seats? I don't think I can even sit down at this bad boy, but I can get inside of it. And look at that. I'm inside the airplane and there are zombies coming at me. So uh, this is this is unique, definitely. Oh, there's quite a bit of zombies there. But I don't see any players. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be here for too long. Because uh, I really don't wanna get no don't wanna be in no trouble. And the trouble is not what I'm looking for, especially with like such cool gear that I'm wearing, because I'm super pimped out. Uh, I have backpacks, I have vests, I have gas masks, everything. I have literally everything. Apart from pants, I have iron pants. Perhaps uh, diamond pants would be nice, but I'm pretty sure I cannot go mining in here, at least for now. Uh, because uh, I'm pretty sure there is a lot more loot spaced around Chernobyl than underground Chernobyl. Bye, airplane! It was nice seeing you at least and hoping that I could maybe fly you but you know what seems it's not today seems it's not my lucky day oh damn I got bitten but I didn't take no damage because this armor again is very very good the armor is very nice it, it protects me a lot from the zombie attacks and also from shots because I did shoot at the guy wearing this armor at one point and it took me quite a bit of ammunition to take him down that would say that I guess it's like very good against all types of damage including weapons so uh it's good okay you know what we're going inside the house we're going inside the house dig 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 I did block off the exit behind me so no zombies could come here and now we're just gonna see if I can even be on the outside? Wait, 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 wait. Where am I? W w what is this building? What? I went through the building, bro. Bro, I went through the building. That is insane. I think I was going like through some walls or something. Oh, oh, we found a car. Oh, we th zombie, zombie close. Are there any players? Um, I don't see no players. Maybe in that building. That survivor guy did say that um, I should watch out for the for, for, for the buildings because the uh, the players might be in the buildings. No, what? Well, screw this! Does it work? I have no clue. Quickly, go, 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 go! Of the main road. Can we go right? Yes, we can. Okay, we we went right, guys. Okay, so um, we are safe for now. I am literally clocking it. I am, I am putting down the the pedal to the metal. And we are going very quickly. Okay, so we found ourselves ourselves a car. That is very neat. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, and we can even climb uh, one block blocks with the car. Wait, will the car be able to go up this road? Come on, baby. I know you can do this. Come on, baby. We can do this. We can do this. I know we can. Oh, it's getting a little bit, a little bit weird. Oh, what is this? 
What is this? We have a bridge and some sort of nether monstrosity? Wait, are we entering Chernobyl? Are we entering Chernobyl, guys? I think we are. Okay, you know what? We're gonna stop here. Oh, I'm stuck on the door. Okay, I'm better now. Let's just close it so no person could easily access it. We don't have a lock, so the car does not have a lock, so that's pretty bad. But, let's see. This this place looks pretty desolate, but at the same time, maybe it, maybe it has something for us. There is a road going here as well. And look at this. The water is supposed to go downstream, but it's not going down. Is, is something blocking the water? Why is the water not going down? Oh yeah, there is. I think there's like netherite or uh, bedrock. I think there is bedrock blocking the water, the flow of water to go down. That's weird. Okay, you know what? Before the zombies start biting me, I need to quickly assess the area. Oh, whoa. Okay, you know what? We need to check this place out. Guys, look at this. We found, like, another survivor HUD. This is looking very, very weird and very cool at the same time. We need to check this baby out. Maybe it has some good loot for us. Plus, the sun is going down yet again. Maybe we can sleep another night here. But look at that. There is a forklift. What can we do with the forklift? Can we build, like, a super mega base with a forklift? I need to be super careful. Uh, can we see anyone? Any survivors? No, I don't think we can. Maybe it'd be better if I was using my sniper. We oh, whoa, there are many vehicles here. This is insane. Okay, I'm gonna get my flashlight. We have some packages, a chest, some crates of weapons, and we have some zombies. Are the vehicles usable? Uh, mm, they look like props more so than vehicles. But these big trucks... They should be usable. Interesting, do they hold any fuel so I could fill up my jerry can? That'd be very, very useful. <laughs> Quite a bit of pistols, APS pistols, I believe, falling out. Okay, let's get the zombies. Let's get the zombies, get the XP. Can we block off this area somehow? Okay, um, before we go ahead and continue, we need to... Oh, no, get the torches. Uh, we have pistols, pistols, and more pistols. Come on, please. Oh, there we go. Something good, finally. Let's see what this is. Oh, we picked it up. It's a DMR. A, no, wait. That's... Yeah, it is a DMR. Okay, that's a DMR. Anything here? Pistols. Damn, okay, you know what? Let's throw out the pistols, because we don't really need it. Throw out the dirt. Um, I'm not sure which one is mine. This one has no magazines, so obviously that is not mine. Okay, you know what? Let's test out the sniper rifle. Oh, wow. That's a one-shot. That is pretty, pretty badass. Oh, whoa. Someone was looting up. Someone was collecting all the APS pistols and gas grenades. You know what? I remember that guy using a gas grenade, so I guess I could use it. It'd be pretty cool. Type 2 plasma capsule. And this is a Gauss Precision Cannon that uses Type 2 plasma capsule. Rate of fire, 4 out of 1. Whatever that means. Let's just maybe get it. Um, is anyone here? I, I, it's like I hear footsteps, but I don't really. It's just so many zombies, guys. They're going on my nerves. No cap. It's like pretty weird. Okay, you know what? I think we collected everything that we need. Let's maybe sleep the night somehow, but maybe I should sleep the night. Or you know what? Maybe I could travel in the night. Should I travel in the night or should I sleep in the night? That's a... Uh, that's a question for the ages. Okay, can I even leave this place without being attacked? Oh, well, the zombie size are pretty lit and they're pretty difficult. But you know what? My car, I really hope my car is still there and it has not been stolen. Is my car there? I, I can't see it. Oh, there, we, there it is. Okay, so my car is right there. You know what, guys? I'm going to park out my car. Sort of hide it maybe in this building. Yeah, right here. And then I'm going to... Then I'm gonna sleep the night somewhere here. Okay, let's park up the baby. And it's gonna be a night-night for us. Open up the door. Get in. Okay, can we go backwards? Yes, we can. Okay, let's get this baby off the road so no one would notice it if they'd be coming through. Because I'm pretty sure people play in the nighttime as well. Not everyone plays in the daytime. Okay, there we go. 
Now, oh, close the door, bro. Close the damn door. I'm stuck in it. Okay, um, let's get rid of the zombies. Bro, bro, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? Okay, get, get rid of the zombies. Come on, come on. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, damn. I am making a lot of noise, but I'm pretty sure that I am going to be good. Okay, now we can block this baby off like this. There we go. Voila. Beautiful. Now, if I place my bed somewhere around here, I should be able to sleep. Do I have a bed? Let's just go out and check out the area. Can we can we move? Can we can we leave safely? I don't see any players, so I guess we can. Okay, you know what? Let's reload the scar. So we need we need to unload the weapon. Now reload with a new magazine. Hundred rounds. Or you know what? We could test out this weapon. Oh whoa! Wait, what weapon is this? This seems something like I'd find in Chernobyl. So maybe this is the Chernobyl zone. What? What is this? This weapon is crazy. Okay, let's go. Oh, whoa. I did... There is so much guts and blood everywhere. That's insane. How many shots do you have? 21. Okay, you know what? What's the distance on this weapon? Because, uh... Oh, there's a car. There's another car in front of us. And it's stuck. Okay, you know what? We need to check it out. Okay, boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this weapon. I think I'm gonna leave this weapon and its ammunition for, like, a player encounter. If I need to get rid of a player real quick and real, real, real sweet. Ooh, zombies, get out of the way. Okay, now we are back on the road. We can see that there is... Oh, 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 that was... Uh, oh, damn. Oh, damn, what is this place? Oh, okay, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out real quick. Come on, bro, please, 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 please. Close door, close door. Get, get rid of the zombies. Get rid of the zombies. Uh, 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 one more. Okay, guys, this is uh, pretty insane. It's getting worse and worse. I think we're... Okay, I thought that was a player. We are getting to the Chernobyl zone, and I'm pretty sure we are crossing, like, a lot of barriers, because there are a lot of zombies here, and it's getting pretty crazy. It seems there... Oh, wait, I cannot cross the bridge. Um, how would I go about crossing the bridge? Could I maybe... Can the car, like, maybe go down somehow or something? Oh, uh, this is getting weird. This is getting weird. Okay, um... I don't think I can break all of this. I think I just need to go around somehow. Oh, this car did try to go around. I think someone built it with cobblestone, the bridge. And then they fell and had to get out. Wait, does that mean this car works? It does work. Can I back off somehow? Oh, no. No, please. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please survive. Okay, um, go forward. Uh, this is... Oh, no. This is crazy. Can I save the car? Oh, bro. Oh, bro. I think we're gonna fall. I think we're gonna fall, bro. Oh, no. Wait. Can I build off the car with, like, materials? Is Will that work? Can I just build it off? Maybe I can save the car, guys. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. We'll see. Okay, guys. We are gonna try and go very slowly around... There we go. We are doing it. We, we are we're doing it slowly but sure, surely. We passed in the nick of the block, as they say in Minecraft. We made it, guys. We made it. We crossed the bridge of a valley. I don't know. I don't know what the bridge is called, but that bridge did take someone's car, which is pretty unfortunate. I think we are getting closer to Chernobyl. So I think I'm gonna have to um, check out the radiation levels. So let me see. A gas detector. And also, I do have a gas mask somewhere. So let's see. The gases are at zero. But I feel like we are getting closer to Chernobyl. Okay, you know what, guys? I think, think, we're, gonna, think we're gonna wait here a little bit. 
and uh, see if anyone passes. No, if no one does pass, then we can head on out. But you know what? Do you, I have a gas mask just in case? Yeah, I do. There we go. So let's put on the gas mask. And how do we feel? We feel a little bit more secure. No, no, <laughs> we do. We kind of do. But you know what? If there's no gas, I'm not going to put on the gas mask for now. But still, it's, uh, it's good to have it. Guys, we are coming closer to like some river and cranes and such, but I did find a boat. I'm not sure if the boat works. I don't think it has an engine, so someone must have took the engine, but it does have a gas canister. I mean, a jerry can. A jerry can. Wait, are there two boats? Wait, there are two boats here. Okay, there are two boats, so I guess this is a boat spawn, so this must be like a static boat spawn that the mod pack or the server has, so that's pretty interesting. Okay, you know what? It is, uh... Night time and the zombies kind of disappeared, so I'm not sure what's really going on. Maybe I'm like at, in the Chernobyl zone, so the zombies don't go here no more. But I don't feel any radiation and I'm not taking any damage yet. But there is a very, very big pond of some sort. But you know what? You know what? I think it's about time maybe that we do go to bed. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to sleep the night yet again. I can't see anyone or anything in the vicinity apart from these cranes, which uh, I think have no use for us at all. And they don't even have like blocks. We did get pretty lucky that we did find like a lot of, um, let me see, a lot of iron blocks, but we aren't, oh, I think I heard, maybe, maybe that's an alligator that I'm hearing. <laughs> maybe that's an alligator, but either way guys, I think that it was pretty rare of us to find like a lot of iron but then again it's not well we didn't find like any diamond blocks so that's unfortunate if we could get like some diamond blocks from some building and cheese our way through that'd be pretty cool as well we are getting a lot of air time and i can't turn the vehicle oh there are some froggies oh look at this guys look at this oh what's wrong with the car stop the truck stop the van or whatever this is a minivan i guess Okay, so let's get closer to this landed boat. Maybe it has something cool for us, but you know what? This boat, it does tell me one thing. We are getting closer and closer to the place that we need to go. And look at this. There are a lot of trees in the vicinity. So I guess it's like maybe another dead zone where uh, no players are and no zombies are. So maybe this is like a good place for a base. Speaking of bases, what is that? What is that place? It has an iron door. You know what? Maybe we can check it out. I think it's uh, I think it's pretty interesting. Okay, let's get let's get into the car. Let's hope that this vehicle is a pretty good off-road. No, it is not. It, it, right away, I am I have answered I have an answer to the question. It is not a good off-road vehicle. Don't get in the water though. We cannot lose this vehicle. Okay, I think this is like a what is that? that? Is that like a fishing boat or like an excavation boat or, boat or something? Is the water safe? I, I, I cannot I cannot test the water if it's safe or not. What if the water is not safe and I'll be infected or something? I can't I can't let that happen. So uh, I could use the parachute. Yeah, I'll, I'll use the parachute. Okay, let's go. Oh, there we go. We're using the parachute to get over to the boat without without touching the water <laughs> okay so uh let's see i do have a pickaxe so i can break the door anyone here anyone home is there anyone is the boat even usable oh it don't look like it i don't think i don't think anyone's base is here i thought because of iron doors this 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 was like someone's base but i think i was wrong oh there is a chest here This place has nothing but bones. Okay, you know what? We can get some bones and that does remind me that we do have a spawn egg for a pet wolf. So maybe when we'll get back to the base, we'll finally have a guard dog. A dog that guards the, the place. That's right, we can finally get our, our own pet. Okay, so that's good that we found some bones. That's actually really, really good. Let's throw out the garbage that we don't need. Netherrack, cobblestone, we don't really need it. Don't need the wood, don't need nothing. Let's just save up on the inventory space. Plus, we have a lot of weapons. Way too many weapons even, might I say. So let's get back to the vehicle somehow. Can we, can we just jump? 
Will that be okay? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. Let's get to the car safely with the parachute. Oh, oh, I well, what happened? The parachute disappeared. Bro, if that happened in the midair and I'd fall like a pretty high distance, that'd be GG. So I am trying to, at the end of the day, not game end myself. Oh, oh, are we good? Can I be can I get back on the road somehow? Or is this a very difficult terrain for this vehicle? I think it is pretty difficult, but we are getting over it somehow. Looking for a place to sleep the night in. Oh, 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 there are quite a bit of zombies here. Maybe there are players here, so I will maybe turn off the flashlight for now. Okay, you know what? Maybe a third person for now. Um, I don't see any people. Or, oh, there is a car. Maybe that's why the zombies are attracted to that place. And there is light. Lava. There is lava. Okay, so there is lava. Oh, there is a chest also. Okay, I'm, I need to get in that chest real quick. But you know what? For the first time ever, I think I might sleep the night beforehand. I mean, before going into the chest. Because the chest is... Uh, it's uh, not not really safe to go into with that amount of zombies. I could throw a grenade, by the way. I, I do have grenades, right? I have smoke grenades. I have one single frag grenade. Did I drop it at the base? I think I left it at the base. No way, right? Uh, such such an unlucky moment. I do have a I did have a grenade, but it's back at the base in the chest. That's unfortunate. Okay, you know what? Let's sleep the night in one of these buildings here. And we can just easily uh, climb over like this. Uh, what? What? What's, what's going on here? This place is has uneven terrain. That's that's no good. Okay. Um, if I was gonna sleep the night, I'd probably sleep it in one of these buildings. Now, hopefully, no one is waiting for me here. There is a crafting bench, but that's it. That's about it. There is a crafting bench, and that's uh, that's it. Okay, so uh, anyone at the top? Nope, nope, no one here. I think I'm alone. So I'm gonna sleep the night here, and then we're gonna check out that kind of uh, lava pit site that we have going. There are a lot of fire and blocks here that we can use. Let's get rid of this zombie. Let's get rid of that zombie. There are a lot of fire and blocks, and the zombies did disperse a little bit from that area, which makes me believe that maybe a player was there trying to fix up the car. Huh, interesting, interesting. The zombies are now evenly spaced out. Seems like I'm alone. So maybe I was not alone at that point, but I am alone now. Maybe someone went offline to preserve their loot or something. You never know with, with these guys, because uh, maybe, maybe they did go offline. But you know what? It's about time that I go loot that place. If the chest has any loot, maybe the guy took the loot and quit the server. <laughs> We don't know, but the car does seem like it's working. Okay, we're gonna check out the, ca the, the car quickly. It looks like... Oh. oh, no, the car is not working. I was wrong. I'm not sure if it has fuel problems or what. A helicopter and a lot more stuff. Quickly, quickly, go, 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 go. Wait, can I get in here? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Okay, um, let me see. I, I picked up... What, what, what did I pick up? A Huey helicopter. Engine Luke Cumming T53 and this is a T53 engine that we have picked up, which is super awesome Okay, so I think we can get a helicopter built, but we don't have the rotors which is gonna be a little bit more difficult So if I if I type Huey or rotors um, Yeah, there are a lot of rotors that we need UH1 Raptor UH1 Huey, so I guess we need UH1 Raptor. Oh a zombie got in somehow and he threw me in the lava. Bro, you kidding me? That, 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 what is going on here? How did the zombie get free? Okay, you know, we we did pick up everything we needed. So I guess we are good on that front. Okay, um, I'm not gonna die to fire damage, will I now? I hope not, at least. Okay, um, I think that's it. We got the helicopter parts. Can we put the helicopter in the backpack? Yeah, we can. We can. This is amazing. Okay, you know what? Let's continue traveling. Because uh, going in the... In the Chernoris direction. Oh, oh, wait, wait, Chernoris? No, I mean Chernobyl direction does give us, like, pretty high loot chances. And I am already wearing a gas mask just in case. Because I, I am not sure what damage the radiation does. If it does instant damage, maybe like, like it does 
to you damage per second. What if I don't have enough time to put on the gas mask? You can't take your chances, can you? And it, it will be pretty dangerous if the gas mask runs out. Because maybe the gas mask does take damage when it's being used up. There are a lot of, um, I can see, high structure buildings. Very, very, very Chernobyl-like. I did do my research before making this video, guys, about Chernobyl. And I did, I did, of course, uh, check out the Chernobyl documentaries and that type of stuff. And it's very interesting, v very cool. No, no cap. It's very nice. Uh, and v a very tragic what happened, of course. But you know what? It's still very interesting to see it be like kind of remade in Minecraft, which is super cool. We can see a very, very huge kind of drill or some sort of monstrosity, which is uh, pretty cool. It does look, it does look very big. But you know what? This does tell me that we are very, very much near. I think the exploded reactor in Chernobyl. So, uh, yeah, we must be somewhere close. You know what? Let's get rid of some zombies. Clear out the pathway. Can we get in? Is there... Oh, there is a ladder. So, I think we can go up here. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna dare to take off my mask, even though it does have a filter. Um, any chests nearby? Any, any, anywhere I can go up somehow? I think there should be, like, a way for me to go up. Yeah, there is. Look at this. A ladder. And even more ladders to the very tippy top. This looks like terracotta, terracotta block of quartz. No, I was wrong. Let's put it back just in case. Oh, 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 look. There are two chests. Are there any more chests hidden somewhere at least? Um, can't really see any. Okay, you know what? Let's just maybe go up. It seems we can't go up all the way, all the way up. And we will have a parachute equipped just in case if we fall. Okay, so there are some chests. Can, can I get in the chests? Oh, we got... Okay, I'm gonna just get rid of, like, some stuff that I don't need. We have a C-34 casement, which is a tank casement. And it can mount a 3485 turret, which is, I guess, this here. So, this is how you build it. So, I think we're on our way progressing now on building, like, a literal tank. <laughs> I guess that's pretty awesome. I guess we're gonna get a tank real soon. That's uh, that's very sick. Oh, by the way, I should probably go up somehow. Can I go up this way? Do this. We got a T60 helmet. That is that is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, so this is pretty awesome. So it seems we are really on a way on building like a tank turret or some or something. We have two tank turrets. And one casement. So we can build it. <laughs> like half a tank. And then just one part of a tank. So this place does seem have. Seem to have like a lot of loot. Can I just like go down without falling though? Is it possible? Oh. oh damn. Damn. Okay. That did not work out. I thought I was going to build like. Build myself off. But you know what? If we survive. I'm not sweating. Even, even better, I found out that I can actually survive falling high distances in this armor. So that's pretty neat. Okay, I think we're gonna go again. We're gonna go again. There we go. <laughs> we are deep, deep down. Oh, by the way, I did get a new helmet, T60. So uh, I guess we can see if it protects us from, like, radiation. I think it should at least, because uh, it does look pretty beefy. And it does give a little bit more armor. Three armor and six Oh, even more armor. This is amazing. Okay, let's put the gas mask inside. Let's put the helmet inside. There we go. Okay, it's uh, looking pretty good. I am using my, let me see, uh, a parachute. I am using a parachute to kind of scale the buildings. Oh, I think we are literally at the Chernobyl site zone. What is that? I think that's uh, maybe a reactor of some sort, like an open case reactor, or is that like a parkour challenge? Either way, we are pretty close, or at already, at the reactor. So, uh, let me see, uh, there is lava here, and then there, we can go up the ladder. With the ladder, oh, we are going high, what's going on? I am not pressing anything, I just went higher and higher, for no reason. 
What happened? What happened, guys? I think maybe there's like a lava mechanism that's like inbuilt. Okay, how do I go down? I think I just need to glide down. So I think my parachute malfunct <laughs> malfunctioned and we went up for no reason whatsoever, but that d does give us um, some good views on the surrounding area. Like that place right over there. There is a hole in the building, so we can probably check it out. But you know what? I am pretty curious on the on the ladder that was over there. Maybe there's like a secret chest or something. Either way, this place does look pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, you know what? This place does look pretty cool, but desolate at the same time. I don't see any players, and I don't see most of all any loot zones, any crash sites, any any of anything. There are quite a bit of zombies in that area. Maybe maybe a player went through that area within minutes or something, because the zombies do spawn in when a player is nearby. Okay, you know what? We can check out this building. Let's check out this building. Land the parachute. There we go. Anyone here? No. But this place does look like a pretty good hideout, by the way. I should take some notes. I could probably get some windows into my base. I think that'd be pretty cool if I did. Okay, you know what? Is uh, I, I don't think we are still at the reactor. But it does look pretty interesting so far. We are at some type of village now. And this uh, little saddle... Isn't working out. Let's use the torches. And throw out the door. Okay, um, we are in some underground temple looking thing. What is this place? I never knew there was an underground system. There are so many doors. And so many things going on at the Chernobyl site that it's insane. Okay, this door is bricked. There's nothing here. These doors are bricked. But what do we have here? Bricked as well. Can I just break through somehow? This place just doesn't seem to 
And it's like this. Oh, whoa. Okay, um, kind of a steep downhill. Oh, there's a door. I think I was here, or maybe I wasn't here, but maybe someone else was here. Um, hello? Anybody? Oh. 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 Oh, okay, I thought that was a player for a second. It's good that it's not a player. Okay, you know what? We can get rid of the zombie. Get rid of the zombie real stealthy. Hope that no one is here to hear us. Okay, I can see that there are some sprinklers going on. I believe we are in one of the non-active uh, reaction sites. Maybe, uh, so we are in the heart of Chernobyl. But we're not at the exploded reactor, I believe. This is not the exploded reactor. These underground tunnels just keep keep on going, don't they? That's literally so insane. But I think if I was to leave this place, I'd really like to do so now, because uh, I think... Oh, oh, there are zombies going at the top of me. Okay, so the zombies must have heard the shots, or they are attracted to me just because they can see me through these uh, iron plate bearings. Either way, being inside the reactor for prolonged times is not something that I came here to do. It's actually not super smart doing this, so I think I need to leave ASAP. But yeah, this this reactor does seem pretty insane, and I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Okay, can we actually leave this place? Oh, there's a torch. We haven't seen this before. But where does this place lead to? You? Another reactor? It's almost identical, but it's it's different somehow. There's no door. Yeah, there's a different door. Okay, let's go in this door now. Damn, this is insane! Another torch? Wait, am I am I in the back rooms? Am I stuck in a loop? Bros, I think I'm like in the back rooms of some or something. Is this like the Chernobyl power? Oh no, bro. I need a. I need to get out ASAP. No, 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 sir. You guys seen this? I'm running around in circles. This is insane. I need to leave this place ASAP. This is not what I signed up for. No, I did not. Before anybody reaches me, run, 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 run. Okay, where am I? Where, where am I? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Okay, so we can see that there are some reactors here, and we walked through them, but we somehow got stuck like in back rooms of, or something, because uh, we kept going in, in circles. And uh, I think we are at the heart of the Chernobyl, but we are not quite at the exploded reactor yet. There are some poisonous water streams, but I don't see any vehicles or any bases. Obviously, no one wants to build a base in the Chernobyl. Uh, you have to be a mad person to build a base in Chernobyl. Uh, I, I don't think it's a place that you can live in, at least long term. Plus, what if your friend doesn't have a gas mask? Then he can't get over to you. But what if you do have a gas mask and then no one can raid you? And no noobs can come to you? You know what? Maybe living in the Chernobyl ain't so bad. Also, guys, in the real-life Chernobyl, there are some radiated dogs and that type of stuff and radiated animals like radiation hits so their gene pools like kind of switching around mixing up it's almost like almost like progression of like their thing and they're like getting stronger and scarier like some some things like babies they got kind of messed up but like dogs and wolves that roam around chernobyl they are they are getting like buffed up so to speak. So uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting what's going on with the radiation from the from the exploded reactor. You know what? It is getting nighttime. It is nighttime soon coming up, so I might have to sleep at some point. Guys, there is one mob that is not going at me, and that is that bandit. I don't know if you can see him, but he's uh, he's an NPC. He's an AI bandit, so that's not a player. But if we get into his distance, kind of, he will attack us. So I will sort of maybe aim at him. Oh, he is looking at me, but I don't see him shooting at me. So, uh, but he does see me. Okay, um, what way could I so sort of uh, go up to him and get rid of him without causing too much, without getting too much attention to myself? Okay, that's not good. Oh, damn, damn, he is shooting. Move away, guys, move away, he is shooting. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. He hit me once, but my armor deflected it. Okay, I'm good. He dropped a shotgun. Okay, that's good. 
I do have a shotgun of my own, Remington. Did he drop me a Remington as well? Yes, Remington 870. I do have it already, so there we go. This is good. Okay, uh, good, 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 good. The shotgun is actually a pretty good weapon. Maybe I should should have used the shotgun on him, cause uh, then, then I think maybe I'd have like a wider, uh, wider range of uh, of my pellets going around. It's a wider shot. You don't have to be as precise. Oh, look at this. Wait, could we actually get like some mine cards going? And then, oh wow, wait, what? I never knew this, you could do this? W when did they add this, guys? Oh, whoa, I am, I am outdated on my Minecraft knowledge, that's insane. You know what, guys? Uh, there are quite a bit of bandits that were in this city, in this vicinity. Maybe I should throw a smoke grenade to hide a, kind of hide my tracks. Okay, we're gonna smoke, uh, smoke it up. Smoke grenade out. Come on, bro. Oh, look at that. Green smoke. Is it poisonous or is my gas mask working? My gas mask is sort of working, so the smoke grenade is uh, barely visible. But it does damage the zombies. Look at this. It's, it's damaging the zombies. Wait, is, it's even damaging me. Okay, so the smoke grenade is working. And I have, a, I, I think I have at least one more of the smoke grenades. So, uh, that'll be pretty cool. Okay, yeah, the zombies are getting damaged with the smoke. That's awesome. Am I still getting damaged? This radi- radi- effect radi- area is actually pretty, pretty big. Am I still poisoned? What's going on? I'm still getting damaged. Okay, you know what? I think we need to head out. What? No way! No way! That's a- that's a helicopter! Th Wait, is that a Huey? I think that's literally the same helicopter as I have. I think a Huey spawned in, or someone landed it here. Is that a zo- yeah, that's it, that's a zombie. Are- th are there anyone nearby? Is anyone nearby? I don't see anyone peeking from the trees, or from the leaves. I don't see anyone at all, I can only see zombies. Okay, okay, I might- I might be able to get in. And, oh, oh, don't want to go in the water for too long now. I might be able to so sort of go in there somehow. Is there a staircase that I can use? There is. Is there an entrance? There is an entrance. Okay, um... Oh, look at this. Look at this. There is an entrance. Oh, and there are chests here and beds. The chests are empty, so someone must have... Wait, is this someone's base? Oh, I think, I think someone came through. I think someone is following me. Oh, that's a zombie. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Go away, zombie. Go away, zombie. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. We found, I think, maybe like some sort of base. Um, is there anything in the chests? Don't look like it. Okay, um, this is, uh, this is a dead end. We're gonna head on out. But first of all, can we actually head out without causing too much trouble? Okay, um, we, we fired a few shots, we might as well get in and try out the helicopter. Please work! Does this baby have any fuel in it? Can it drive? Oh, it does! It does drive! Hey, close the door for aerodynamics! Wait, guys! It's working! It's working, but I'm not sure how I can fly it. How, how do I fly it? I found the buttons. I had to map them. Okay, so, um, we are going higher. But let's not go too high, so let's decrease the throttle a little bit. Now let's uh, try and switch the sides of the helicopter a little bit. Okay, there we go. We're doing it. Slowly but surely, we are doing this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, damn. Heli the helicopter is very difficult to ride. Okay, um, I kind of get it now. I kind of get it. It's very easy, in fact. Like, very easy. You're just gonna decrease the throttle, and let's uh, switch switch the sides. It's very difficult to do like a maneuver in the helicopter, but we are doing it. What's wrong with the seats? The seats in the background are like going super weird. But you know what? It's gonna be very difficult to land this bad boy. But look at this. We are doing it. We are doing it. Definitely amazing. Oh, we can even probably check out like uh, the what do you call it? The the containment site. Oh yeah, there it is. That's it behind us. I mean below us. We can see it. We're flying across it. 
Oh wow, this is amazing. This is such an amazing experience. The helicopter is like very, very, not even difficult to control. More like very interesting and uh, sort of easy. I'd say it's really easy, as long as you're up in the air. Because uh, if you're like trying to fly between trees, then that's when it gets a little bit difficult. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit higher to not not touch uh, the buildings that we're flying over. Okay, good, 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 good. We haven't been shot at by any of the players so far. So, so far, so good. We are going pretty good. Also, it's weird what a, what a Vietnam-type uh, Huey helicopter is doing in in Chernobyl. Oh, look at this. That's a grave site. That's insane. By the way, this terrain is red. Oh, what is that? Is that a helicopter land site? Oh, we have some gar garages. That's like the old type of garages I think they used. Oh, there's even a crafting bench on, on top of one. Okay, um, let's point it, point it to the right a little, a little bit more. Okay, we are... Uh, have been flying for so long, but at pretty slow speeds that it, it is now daytime. Well, not daytime, more like morning, so the sun still hasn't, hasn't gone up. But it is pretty cool at the end of the day, flying in a, in a Huey, Huey helicopter. Okay, um, if I was going to, like, land somehow, how would I land? Okay, I'm gonna land, I'm gonna land, I'm gonna land. I'm gonna land. This, oh, no, 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 don't go too high now. I'm gonna land. Okay, I'm gonna decrease the throttle. Decreasing the throttle, guys, decreasing the throttle. I am decreasing the throttle. Oh, now I am increasing the throttle. Oh, 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 and... Turn off the throttle! There we go! We landed it! We got it! We got it, guys! This is amazing! This is so amazing! This is no man slam, but the zombies are still spawning in, so we are not far enough away from the city. This is amazing! This is so cool! Okay, so we landed this bad boy. I'm a, a helicopter certified pilot now. I'm helicopter certified! You can count on me on all the evac missions. Yep, most definitely. Okay, um, there are quite a bit of zombies here. They are around my helicopter. Bro, you, you need to leave me alone. Get away from my helicopter. That's my Huey. Well, you know what? In the meantime, I will check out the surrounding area. Because I believe that we can't be completely alone here. There are always buildings nearby that you can loot up. Already we can see that a tree line appeared. If we went any, by the way, we landed right at the end of the desert. If we would have went anywhere closer, there would be like a hill and then trees. And we'd, we'd probably crash into the hill and blow up, or crash into the trees and blow up. But the, the good thing is, I know that I would not die from the explosion because I am super armored up. Look at me. Look at me. I am wearing literally super gear. I even have a vest on. I literally have a vest. Look at this, I have a vest on. There is no way a mere helicopter crash site uh, crash is taking me out. No, sir. There's no way. No way, right? There is no way. We found a truck. Get out of the water. This is what I've been use, using for now. A boat. But, oh damn, damn. The zombies are very strong in this. In this territory, in this region, like the zombies, they they hit me off. That's weird. Okay. Oh, this is a uh, this is an older car than I was. What about what I was imagining? We do have an engine. Please work, baby. Let's go. It does work. Let's go. Hey, we we don't need the boat no more. Freak the boat, right? We don't need the boat. Oh no, I ran over a frog, but it survived. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we did find a truck, and uh, you know what, maybe we should get a road going then. I don't need to follow the river stream no more, if I, maybe, if I just get like a road going somewhere soon. Oh wait, w what is this place? Oh, this place looks severely weird. Wait, is this the reactor? If, if this is the reactor, we cannot stand, uh, we, we cannot be here for too long, I think it is. Guys, look at this. Look at this, guys. Do you see these circles? There's two circles. And something in the middle. No, there are four. Five. There are five. Six. There are six. 
of these weird circles. And they're covered in like something weird. Guys, this is insane. Is this like the blown up reactor? Are there any is there anything inside of these like things? They they, they like came from? Nah guys, this is weird. This doesn't look like the exploded reactor. This looks like some alien technology. Okay, we're gonna go down with the car, because the car we don't really need it. Oh, we catch some air. We catch some air. We don't really need the car. Can we go across the leaves? Yes, we can. Wait, does this does this place lead anywhere at all? Or are we like going somewhere unknown to man? Oh no, we left. We left. Okay, so it seems the car can go free vines, which is a super neat little addition. But I don't think I don't think we see anything here. There are a lot of zombies, and they are pretty strong. I, I feel like they're stronger than regular zombies. So maybe this site has something to do with it. Okay, let's not crash the car now. We don't want to drive into the trees and stuff like that, because uh, we still need the car to get back to the helicopter, which is stuck in the desert. Not even stuck, we can easily we can easily get into the helicopter and then maybe get back to the base, park it up. We also have a backup helicopter, Huey number two, that we found before we found the actual Huey itself already in the real world. But yeah, okay, so this place it does seem pretty pretty weird. I'm gonna get out for a quick second. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Oh, close door. Oh, what's wrong with the car? Let me out. Close the door. Okay, there we go. Um, this place, I just want to have a little closer kind of view on it. Like, what is this? This looks like some sort of alien technology gonna miss. Gone as- oh no. Oh damn. Oh damn, I cannot climb- I cannot climb the, these leaves. I cannot climb the leaves, guys. I cannot climb them. Okay, um, this- maybe this explains why the car didn't get lifted up. Okay, um, can I actually break through? What if I go inside this thing? I'm not- I'm not taking any damage. Maybe it's because of my armor or something like that. But for now, we are doing pretty good. Okay, let's do this. Let's get inside. Can we even get inside this big reactor ball circle looking thing? Or is this like a lost endeavor? I can hear zombies and we are breaking now. Um, bat, uh, netherrack? We are breaking netherrack and the light is flickering. It's going on and out, in and out, which is uh, not good. Damn, bro. It's getting pretty scary. Not gonna lie, guys. It's getting pretty scary. How much more do I dig? Oh, I think we found the surface. Are we like at the tippy top of it or where are we? No, there is even more netherrack here. What is going on? Oh, we're inside of it. Oh no, are there any aliens? Am I supposed to be scared? This place has no chests, obviously, and no, no civilization or humanity. I don't see anyone, but our car, it should be somewhere here, or is it another, at another, um, entrance? Damn, this place is creepy. It's very, very creepy. By the way, I will... Leave the nether rack just in case if I need it. Uh, the car, I'm pretty sure, maybe is in that direction. Uh, no, no, it should be here. It should be somewhere here, no? The car is supposed to be... Oh, it's right here. There it is. Okay, I don't want to stay here till sundown, because if I stay here till sundown, then that would mean that maybe someone else might come by. Because, uh, and I really don't want to meet anyone else, because, uh... Stranger is trouble, but we should maybe get that get that iron. Should we get that iron or do we have enough iron? Maybe we should leave that iron, not touch it. Maybe it's like radioactive or maybe something will blow up if I touch it. But you know what? I will leave a smoke bomb in this building. So let, let's leave a smoke bomb. Let's do this. There we go. That's the smoke bomb. And now we will jump onto the car and drive away. Jump and see the car drive away. Let's go and the smoke is going It's inside that thing, but I don't see the smoke going. Oh, no. Oh, no I think the radioactive winter is coming guys is the radioactive winter coming. This is not good at all, bro I I did know that I wasn't supposed to stay here for too long. Okay. I need to get out real quick 
I need to leave ASAP, bro. ASAP. No, but before I leave, I need to check this out. Is this like normal? Oh, there is rain. Is it poisonous rain? What is that? That's a water container. Sh 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 should I jump? I don't think I, I, I don't think I should jump. I'm not gonna jump. I'm not gonna jump, but guys. This is not looking too good. This is not looking too good. We were here for too long. We we were here for too long. The acid rain has started and it's red red and stuff like that. Okay, get rid get rid of the zombies. Come on. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh uh. Reload the weapon. Reload the weapon. Yeah, get out of here, zombies. I am wasting ammunition on you guys. I'm just trying to leave this place. Okay, okay, just last few shots. Reload the weapon. Get in. Okay, blinders on. Let's get let's get out of here. This is too crazy for me. No, oh, I'm not ready for a radioactive rain winter type thing going on here. This is not looking too good. Bro, I I lost my vision. I lost my vision. I lost my vision. Oh, I got it back. I got it back. Oh, the the night the, the FOV, the, the everything is so weird. Okay, I need to leave this place. I'm going. I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm going. Pedal to the metal. We are going out of here. I think some aliens try to contact us. Or something weird was definitely happening. This is not normal by any means. At least we got a car from it. We got a car from it, so that's good. And we did get, let me see, two blocks of iron. So let's put the iron in the backpack. And uh, maybe let's head back to the base. We haven't been at the base for a very, very, very long time. Okay, um, I think I can get back using this direction here. Did I come from this way? I think I did. Maybe, okay, I think this is good if we go this way. Look at this, guys. The XP from when I landed is still here. And I got rid of, like, a lot of zombies. And the sand! The sand is here as well. Oh, by the way, do I have a shovel on me? Because I really do need a shovel for glass. Maybe, maybe I could continue my base build going. No, I don't think I have enough shovels on me to get it. But you know what? It's still cool. I dig it. I dig it. Wait. The flashlight ran out of battery, I think. Either way, we do have some torches. Here we have the helicopter in all its glory. Still waiting for us. Most likely still uh work king oh we can close it for more aerodynamic -y. it's now more aerodynamic guys look at this that's what i call a real helicopter it's a ue1 ue1 let's get in open up the hatch close the door okay get rid of the zombie meat bro i said leave it i pff, okay okay it's fine with me i don't mind it Okay, let's warm up the engine a little bit before we head back to the base. And yeah, it is nighttime, so we'll be traveling through the night. Luckily, the rain and like the sort of radioactive snow and I don't even know what type of weather that was. It's gone now, so uh, that's good. So that's the creepy vibes are over, so to speak. But yeah, we are still yet to see the actual Chernobyl crash. Um crashed reactor broken reactor exploded reactor that's right we still didn't find it but we are like the chernobyl is way bigger than i thought by the way it is huge okay you know what i think it's warmed up enough let's let's increase the spin lift off we have slow lift off okay now let's tilt the bad boy over there we go it is tilted over now let's increase. Okay, let's throw out this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We're not going to pick up that no more. Okay, good, 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 good. But we should maybe go a little bit higher alt altitude because uh, if we are to encounter any buildings, we might crash into the buildings. So we might need a little bit more altitude. And also, let's switch up the region a little bit like this. Oh, bro, bro. Um, Increase the throttle. Increase the throttle. Get get an angle going. Get more of an angle. Uh, we nearly hit the trees. It is nighttime, so it is a little bit more difficult to fly. But we are doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good. Uh, there we go, sort of. Like this. Yeah. There we go. 
This should get us somehow into a nearby town. And uh, hopefully we're not going to crash into any of the buildings. <laughs> if we crash into any of the buildings, I have a spare helicopter on hand. Hopefully no players will see that crash and will come and finish me off though, because I will be on pretty low health. But there we go. Looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. We are coming up close to the desert, so our base should be somewhere here. Is this the puddle of water? Is this the water pond that we live on? Is this it? Is this it? I don't see my house. No, I think that's... No, no, ours is way smaller. Okay, you know what? I think we need to go down a little bit. Let's decrease the throttle. I'm way too high up. I cannot see my base from here if I was to look at my base somehow. Okay, I can, I can, I can see the trees here so that means my base is maybe somewhere in that bro decrease the throttle go down helicopter okay um we're gonna increase the throttle when we need to, to go up but for now we are going down which is good i believe let's switch it up increase the throttle increase the throttle take a little angle a little angle there we go Looking good, looking good. Okay, okay. Um, now, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so I ran past this desert. And then I went in that direction, I believe. Like, past them trees. But somehow, them trees didn't have my base. So what is going on here? Something is definitely up. Let's uh, maybe leave the helicopter here for now. Uh, we're gonna come back to you. In fact, I'm gonna place a torch. I'm gonna place a torch so I would always know that the helicopter is here. This is the landing strip. Okay, um, I'm gonna have a quick look around and check out where my base could be. Because I believe my base is somewhere in that direction, but I didn't see it while flying over with my helicopter. So, uh, wait, my base is super camouflaged. Oh no, I, did I miss my base, guys? Was it super camouflaged so much that I didn't see it myself? Oh wow, found the base. Found the base. It's actually very, very close by. No, wrong, wrong door. By the way, let's open up the doors in case uh, it looks cooler. And you can always get in. I think if we get in this seat by accident, then we can switch over to the chopper seat. Yeah, there we go. Easy, easy. That's what I call it, easy. Okay, um, let's increase the throttle. Increase the throttle, but not too much. Turn it right. Decrease the throttle. Decrease the throttle. We Our base is practically across that tree line. So, uh, should be pretty, pretty easy. Pretty easy if we, uh, we just get the spin under control. Okay, let's get a, get a little angle going. Increase the fro fro throttle a little bit to go above the trees but we don't want to get too much speed because we need to land the bad boy in a very very kind of peculiar way it's gonna be a very tight squeeze because the base doesn't have a lot of space it's not like the desert this is the pond that i live in so here is the pond that means the helicopter should be landed somewhere across the base right here oh yeah this is this is perfect okay now let's Decrease the angle, decrease the speed, decrease the throttle. Okay, we are going into the trees. We are, we are, <laughs> we are stagnated at the top. Okay, um, like this. Even it out, even it out. There we go, we are kind of falling. Let's add, the, when we're gonna reach the ground, we're gonna increase the throttle just a little bit. Landing the chopper, increasing the throttle, increasing the throttle and the smoothest Touchdown ever known to man in existence. Boom, look at this, guys. That's what I call a chopper land. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Who said I'm not chopper certified? I'm forklift certified, chopper certified, QE1 certified. I can do it all. Now, we are finally back at the base. Haven't been here in a long time, but you guys know I've been waiting for a very long time to do something. We are back at the base. That means we can finally get the dog. No! No! No, I should... Oh, no, I missed. Wait, where's the dog? Where's the dog? The dog disappeared. 
We missed this. We missed the chance to get a buddy going. It seems I'm a lone survivor after all. No, no pet for me, which is pretty unfortunate. And after all the trouble I went through of getting the bones, 25 bones should have been enough for the dog. Okay, you know what? If we can't get the dog, maybe we can expand the base and get a farm going because I am pretty, pretty rough on food. And look at this, the cake from that traveler we met, from that survivor. You know what? He never had a helicopter. Perhaps I can have him join me on my base if he's still friendly and if he's online. And then we can we can share a helicopter ride. Okay, let's see. So I think we can probably get a farm going sort of this way. But we're not going to make the farm too big because... And I'm also doing the new farm trick of where you get the farm in the actual uh, pond of water. So back in the day when I used to play, like when I was like a little kid, I used to play and I used to get a farm going and I got buckets and I inserted water. Like if I was a kid, I'd probably build like a farm right here so I could easily get a bucket and easily get water into my farm right here. So as you can see, it is like sort of a low IQ moment. I think we were all pretty much not super technical at Minecraft. Oh wow, that was quick. We are all, at least back in the day, we're not super technical at Minecraft. And back in the day, by the way, I mean, I mean back in the day, day, day. Back on release of Minecraft is what I'm trying to say. Because, uh, yeah, this trick might be like, it might be like seven years old already, but it's still pretty new to me. So it's, uh, uh, it's still, it's still pretty good. It's pretty good to know, but, okay, time to get this dirt. Get away, dirt. Okay, um, the question is, question is, do I have enough variety of seeds? I know that I have pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, and uh, normal seeds. Wheat seeds is what I'm trying to say, but is this really good enough? Let me see. Okay, you know what? I think we're just gonna do the work already right now. We're gonna get some work done. We're gonna put some put some requirements. I also can get a sugar farm, sugar, sugar cane farm going, because I am living by the sand, by the shore. So a sugar farm would be pretty easy. We have some melon seeds. Okay, the melon is uh, after corn and cucumbers. Corn, speaking about corn, guys, I am a corn connoisseur, so to speak. Yep, I enjoy my fair share of corn. But it's very healthy for you, I believe. Is it not healthy? Correct me if I'm wrong. If it's not healthy, then, then I'm wrong. But... I think it's like, just like any vegetable, it's good enough. Plus, it's easy to farm in Minecraft. Oh no. You know what? We're gonna get uh, one melon. Oh, look at this, a seedy palette. So I guess those cool seeds weren't cool enough. So get this palette going and let's get one corn in between. Okay, so there we go. You know what? Screw this, we're gonna get one more corn here. The, the pumpkin. I mean, the, the melon can go over on this block if it requires so, so <laughs> I think it's going to be good. You know what, I could maybe use some bone meal to see how it is. I'm not going to get a lot of bone meal. I, like, if I find a dog, I might as well keep the bones, but let's see. Oh, 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 and there we go, some corn. A hey, time to check out the corn. Going to eat it up? Oh, wait, I don't need to eat it right now, so uh, my hunger is not, is not, uh completely gone and this is cucumber and we got two cucumbers how much do they give they give the same amount but but there's three of them oh i see oh guys i think the cucumber for the win baby i think cucumber is like a magical plant now <laughs> I i'm gonna be eating them cucumbers them corn for all of eternity now okay by the way we do have a frag grenade a scope I could see if the scope is like, oh, wait, 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 armor piercing shell, 85 millimeters, 85 millimeters turret. Guys, I think it's about time that we build a tank, but for that, I think we need a little bit of something. Plus, we do have an RPG. Why do we have an RPG? What's wrong with us? Why, who made this RPG? Why did that guy that we got loot, the loot from ha had an RPG? That's... That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. But you know what? It's cool. It's cool with me. I'm not going to use it. If I have to, I will. 
but I'm not gonna use it for now. Either way, Netherrag, there, let's just place a lot of stuff that we don't need for now over here. We have also a duffel bag. We can check out the duffel bag, the insides of it. Maybe the duffel bag has like some crazy insides. Let's see what that guy had in the duffel bag. Nothing! Bro, he's uh, he's playing. He's playing with me. That guy had nothing in the duffel bag. Who, who has that? Chainsaw fuel capsule. Ooh, I didn't get a chainsaw yet, so that'd be pretty cool if I did. Let's also place um, like that. Yep, that's it. Don't don't come here. Do not come. This is a secluded area with my chopper and soon gonna be a tank. I don't think I can start building the tank yet. No, no, I cannot. These parts are the ones that go on top of the chases. So this is a casement turret and then below them should be a chases. Tank chassis, I think it's called, but we didn't find it yet. So maybe we could go ahead by foot, not by helicopter, but by, by foot, we could go and look for maybe a uh, tank chases. Oh, you know what? Actually, we can even fly on the parachute over to the closest city. Can we jump from this height? Is this good enough? Yeah, it is. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so this is how my base looks so far. Looking pretty good. Pretty fine. Oh, I could align the chopper on the top of my base. But you know what? That'd be too risky. That's too risky. This night time, well, at least uh, it's the evening. So we might as well head into the city and be sneaky peeky like so uh, no one would notice us in the city loot looting up. Also, maybe we can uh, get some XP from the zombies, from the zombies, not the froggies, but the zombies. And then we could maybe even get an enchantment table and then uh, enchant our gear up. I wonder if I can enchant, enchant weapons. Like I can enchant the MK16 scar to so have like fire, fire bullets. Or armor-piercing bullets, like two shots from an automatic, and that person in full, fully blown, fallout-looking, super nuclear gear would would be instantly respawned. <laughs> Seeing as it is nighttime, I will be sleeping, maybe in this building. Oh, look at that! We have a vehicle here. A vehicle. Be a cool. Be a cool. We have a snowmobile, which is pretty, pretty weird. Can we ride it? No, we can't. Why? Why can? Why? Why can I ride it? I, I want to ride it. Hello? Wait, wait. It, it has only one, bro. It was someone repairing this vehicle. You know what? I'm gonna leave a light here just in case they come back at some point. They're gonna know that I was here. I didn't steal it. You can continue building it. Or maybe I can just leave uh, peacefully without them noticing me. But either way, we do have quite a bit of zombies here. Okay, you know what? I'm probably not going to be able to sleep through the night with so many zombies piled on top. So uh, let's just get rid of these zombies real quick. Oh, uh, there's quite a bit of them. Hopefully no player is nearby, so no player will know that I'm here. And uh, for them to come and get me, because uh, I that's not, that's not what I want. Okay, let's reload the 100 round magazine. Oh wait, is this it? We have 100 rounds? Is that it? No way, right? What's this? This is 100 rounds loaded. Okay, yeah, this is better. This is better. So let's put this bad boy right there. Let's also get an SV, SV magazine. So uh, this one right here. Um, I need to unload the magazine. Now reload it with a filled one. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, let's get these zombies. This is some good, some good XP. Oh damn! You know what? This is a one shot. This is what I should use to get like hunt players and stuff like that. Oh wow, this is amazing. But it is very, very blurry. <laughs> very blurry, <laughs> might I say? Okay, I think this is it. I think we got rid of all the zombies, so we're doing pretty good. Let's reload the bad boy up. Two empty magazines, uh, 100 rounds in this one. I think this one needs a reload as well. I'm just reloading all of my weapons. All of my weapons. Is the JMC reloaded? Yes, it is. JPC is what I meant to say. JPC. Let's also, uh, wow, I have so many weapons. It is insane. If I just, like, put them up on my inventory, will that even be, like, super cool? <laughs> like, uh, how, how many weapons do I have? That's insane. 
Where's my shotgun? Wait, I lost my shotgun, guys. I lost it. Did I leave it at the base? I think I did. I think I left my shotgun at the base. That's unfortunate. No way. There was a truck all this time here. And it... Pass. Oh, it runs. It, it does run. Whoa, whoa. What's that torque on this one? Oh, damn. Something's, something's weird. I think I have to switch, like, gears on this one. I think I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, this is the sixth gear. That means we're gonna be going pretty quickly in this one. Okay, this is, uh, this is not an automatic, but I, 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 I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, wow, it's going way quicker than any vehicle I've ridden before, so, uh, this is a steal. I'm taking this baby back to base. We have a, what looks like a gas station and one pump. Is the pump fill, filled up? Is the pump filled up? Let me get out from my truck. <laughs> Is the pump filled up? That I do not know, but I will check. Let me see. Oh, move away, zombies. Move away. 15 buckets. Okay, so 15 buckets. Okay, that means it's filled up. That's good. Okay, there are too many zombies. I think I'm going to grenade them. Come here, zombies. Come here, zombies. Come to me. I will grenade you, and then... And then I can make my swift getaway. These zombies are moving so slowly, it's gonna take a while for me to get a, like, a nice getaway from them. Oh, damn. Damn, bro. Oh, ah. Ah, okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. This is better. This is way better. Okay, gonna eat up. Eat up on the chicken, which they can't have because they're zombies and they don't eat chicken. Okay, zombies. You choose. RPG? RPG these guys? Or grenade them? What weapon should I use to destroy a whole stack of zombies? Plus, this is good XP. Uh, I am looking out, of course, as usual, for bandits. That includes the AI, the NPCs, and also the players. But I don't see any players. We only we only encountered like a few players and one uh, and one off cam. So uh, that's like a total of maybe four players that we encountered. So uh, it's uh, it's a little bit, it's it's almost like they're hiding. And all of them were hiding. They did say they were pretty aware of other players. So uh, it's best if you don't meet them because uh, sometimes you'll need a bandit. So is this good enough? I, th I think it is good enough. I think we have quite a bit of zombies here. Oh, there's one zombie that is on fire. Why, why are you on fire? Hey, I can pick you out. I, I can pick you out. Come here. Okay, guys. I think it's time to throw the grenade onto these bad boys over here. Okay, um, I'm ready. It's gonna be a big one. Hopefully, I won't lag out. <sighs> grenade out! Oh, whoa! Damn! Okay, th that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, uh, th this is insane. I need to get the XP. What's that sound? What's that sound? Is my truck making a sound? I think it is. Damn, who's, who's, who's in my truck? No one's in my truck. Why is it making such a sound? Okay, I need to get out from here. Come on, let's get out. Let's uh, increase the... Uh, switch the gears a little bit. Switch the gears. Okay, there we go. Um, this should be better. Switch the gears even more. There we go, sixth gear. This should be good enough. By the way, trucks gonna have way more than six gears, right? Or am I wrong? I might be completely wrong in this one, but I believe that trucks have maybe like eight gears. Do they not? All trucks are built different. That I'm sure of, but some trucks have eight gears, some have zero, some are automatic. But uh, this one is not automatic. If I keep on pressing the... <laughs> The gas button without pressing the clutch and switching gears. Uh, this truck, I think the engine is gonna like blow up or something. So uh, it's a dangerous one. Oh no! 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 Damn! Oh no! I messed up. No! The truck! No! No! Well, what's wrong with my truck? It's going under, bro. What's wrong with it? Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! We got it. We got it back on the road. 
Let's back off a little bit. Now go forward. Okay, I think I need to clean out like this area. I think I do. Do I have an axe on me? Yes, luckily I do. I need to clean out this area. Luckily, the trees dis dissipate. <laughs> Not dissipate, but get destroyed very easily and very quickly. So uh, I'm gonna clean out like uh, an area where I can head back into the city. Uh, is the city nearby? Is it? No, no, it's, uh, it, it's, it's not a big tree line. We can probably cross it. If I get rid of the trees, that is. Okay, um, this is looking pretty good. Pretty good so far. Okay, um, time to get in and give this bad boy another go. Close the door. Let's go. Switch, switch a few gears. Plus, we're gonna go quickly in this one, so uh, it's a little bit more dangerous. Okay, we're going quickly, but we are doing this. There we go. Turn to the right. Oh, oh. Yep, yep. We're doing this. It's good. Looking good. <laughs> it's looking good. Oh, no. Don't go and see the tree now. By the way, some players might be living on the trees. That's actually a pretty good idea. Because the trees, like, this tree is, like, super huge. The very top one. So you can easily build a base, and no one will even know. If I was going to survive in real life... Myself, I'd build a bunker. I'm pretty sure everyone would agree with me. Like, everybody needs a bunker. I might be extra a little bit with my opinions, but guys, I fully believe that everyone needs to have a bunker in their house. Not everyone, of course. If there's a bunker near you or a safe spot, safe whatever place, then that's good. But if you don't have it, then you better get a bunker. Guys, so are, are we going pretty quickly? I think we are. I think I'm on the 8th gear. Oh, by the way, these houses look like my friend's houses. Maybe I can message him and he'll maybe log in if he's not in the game right now. Maybe we can play together. But you know what? No. No, it's a 100 day series. I need to do this myself. Look at the speed. Look at the speed, guys. The speed is insane. Okay, you know what? I think it's about time. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Stop, 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 stop. Stop the truck. Stop. Oh, damn. Okay, you know what? That's insane. That is insane. Guys, we nearly, nearly ended up in the water because I was uh, vlogging and driving. Vlogging? I was talking and driving. I didn't notice the road end. Okay, um, we cannot go this direction. So uh, that means, that mean, is, is that the start of the desert where my base is? That means this place should be pretty desolate. Okay, you know what? This seems good enough. This seems good enough. Okay, I'm gonna get my weapon out. And we're gonna head into this building to uh, AFK out a little bit. And then when it's daytime, we're, we're gonna come back and we're gonna continue going forward. Oh, uh, you're, you're shooting zombies already? Yo, oh yeah, yo, you better you better keep, be careful, bro. No, just follow me. Follow me. I got a car. I got a car. It's... Somewhere around the these buildings. Damn, bro. Oh, Long time no see, by the way. Yeah, how you been? How, what's happening with you? I've been playing on the server for many days. Uh, hours on end every single day. And I'm getting pretty good. Like, I have a base going. I, I have something that I want to show you, but uh, it's going to take a little bit. Okay, uh, first of all, there are some zombies. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need to get rid of them. Be careful so I wouldn't like hit you because I have... Uh, what did you say? That's a cool gun. Oh yeah, it is, I know. And we, we are not messing about here. There are too many zombies. Okay, just get rid of them without hitting me and stuff like that. Oh, oh. No, no more more. Okay, no, no more ammo on this gun. Okay, maybe, maybe this one. There we go. I I'm gonna get rid of them. Don't worry, don't worry, dude. I didn't hit you, did I? No, you're good. Okay, well, get in. Get in. Let's go. I'm in the driver's seat. I'm gonna get, get to the base. Get in. You you in, cowboy? Drive, drive. Dude, you need to speak up. I can barely hear you. I said drive. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Dude, you need to... Uh, is, was your microphone always like this? Because I can literally not hear you. I think the engine is a little bit too, too, too loud on this one. Either way, I've been playing for quite some time. I'm happy for you to join me. You showed me your base. You showed me a lot of courtesy. 
and you pretty much were a friendly guy to me, so uh, I'm gonna pay it back, bro. I'm gonna pay it back. I'm gonna show you my base, and I'm gonna show you what's up. It's crazy, actually, the, the, the things that I have going on. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure if we keep driving straight through this desert, we will at some point get to my base. Yo, brother. Brother. I'ma keep it a buck. What? What's wrong? That's a cool car. <laughs> it's a truck I found. I I'm just gonna take it back to the base, park it up, because I don't have a car beside my base yet, but I do have something else, and you're gonna be pretty amazed. It's a long drive, huh? Yeah, yeah, you did say that no zombies spawn in in the desert and kind of like in some regions So that's where I pretty much made my base as you can see it is a uh, it is what it is And I I, I like it. I like it. it. It could be a little bit more Bountiful with like stuff going on, but it's good. It's cool with me You're really taking uh taking us out in the desert, huh? Uh, the gnome hand land. That's that's like the only reason why I wasn't griefed. <laughs> that's at least I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, I think I missed one turn a little bit. Okay, we need to go back like this, and then we go right, and then uh, we're gonna have a base. So there should be like a big pond of water to your right at some point, and that's when we turn. How you been? Uh, did you get that moped? Or something? What vehicles do you have? Did you find any? Yeah, I have a little moped. It's uh, really, really quiet and small. It's, it's the best for the city. But if you're living in a desert like this, then oh yeah, a truck is definitely the way to go. Uh, it's always like... Oh, what was that? Gravel? It always takes a little bit to find it, but when you do, it's like super easy to find it pretty much. Oh, this is it. You Ooh. see it in front of us? Whoa, was that a helicopter? Yeah, yeah, yes it is. Yep, that's my helicopter. I wow, knew that's insane. Is that rare? Oh yeah, it's really rare. I, I don't even know where you found it. Uh, I, it was actually usable, but you know what? Before we go on to this helicopter Huey ride, let me give you something. It's a gift. You did give me a few gifts, I'm gonna give you a gift. Here you Ooh. go. Oh, what, what is this? That's pretty much your oh. own Huey helicopter. Oh my, wow. Yeah. Dude, I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much. Also, brother, you helped me quite a lot on this game when I just began, so I'm, I'm just returning the favor. But this is the helicopter, and it's fully functional and working, by the way. But either way, you want to check out the base? Damn, this helicopter, it's insane. <laughs> Are you in? We, we can go for a ride right now if you want to. Oh, careful, cowboy, don't shoot me. This ain't Nam. <laughs> it's, it's, it's insane. Yeah, I know, it is. Plus, Chernobyl to have, like, a Nam helicopter, it's pretty insane, I know. Either way, uh, this is the kind of my space of humble living. Is there something What's wrong the with the I water, know. by the way? Because my crops haven't grown for literal days. I don't know. I usually uh, don't drink from the from the ponds and rivers. You oh, go underwater to get secure water sources. What, bro? I wait. Okay, okay. It's good that I didn't eat the cucumber. And like, uh, cause I have cucumbers and also um, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever it. this is. Well, you gotta be careful. You gotta corn. be careful. You corn. Can, you can try eating them. I mean, I'll, I'll see what happens and then I'll know <laughs> if it's safe or not. Yeah. Well, we have some cake here. If you're hungry, we have some cake. It's your cake, by the way, the one that you gave me. We have a fridge. The fridge has a little bit of food left. It has a little bit of chicken and also some steak. Mm, yum, yum. And also, how do you like my base? It's uh, very, very hidden. I tried my best to hide the base with leaves and stuff like that, so uh, no one would be able to find me. Is it cool? I tried my hardest to I get this base going. it's really cool. It's really cool. It really fits uh, the... Yeah, the background. it's uh, filled with vegetation. It's like camouflage just like me If you didn't notice I'm wearing a ghillie suit just to be undercover all Ooh, the time So you blend in yeah, yeah, you and take off the mask Malto, uh, you, you can introduce yourself by the way to the viewers because uh, this snippet will go into the video guys I did tell Malto hey. that I'm gonna be recording 100 days and this is pretty much the challenge that I'm on here right now. So, Malto. What's up, everyone? What's up? Welcome. Welcome. Yes. We're a friendly bunch over here, huh? 
Uh, it is, it is. And the server did get a little bit more players while I was playing on here. I don't know why. I think it's because it's the weekend. Oh, it's the weekend. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Uh, did you encounter any more friendlies or any more bandits along your journeys? Yeah, I, I saw a few bandits. Had to, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, seal the deal. <laughs> oh, seal the deal with that with that weapon of yours, I believe. Yeah, that's one of them uh, had that's backpack. pretty cool. It's uh, pretty nice. Oh, that's how you got the backpack. You you, you got someone to uh, be game ended for it for you. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yep. Uh, I. Oh wait, or do we have the same backpacks? Yeah, we. Do we? No, 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 they're not the same. They're a little bit different. They're a little bit different. I don't have a bed for you, but I guess we can sleep like one after another to so switch it daytime for like the, all of us. Okay, um, this is gonna be it. This is my base. That's pretty much all we I have for, to show you for today, but you know what? We is can... the glass invisible or is it just me? Oh, no, no, there's glass here. There's glass, yeah. Is uh, your okay, shader okay, pack it's... okay? Like, maybe it's your... Uh, yeah, I don't something. know, maybe it's broken a little bit, but, uh, cool, cool. Yeah, we can go for a helicopter ride if you want to during the daytime. Oh, that'd be so sick. Yeah, I'll show you around. Okay, let's, uh, let's get the show on the road, huh? Let's get the show on the road, as they say. I'm gonna get in the pilot seat, I'm gonna show you how you can fly around. Did you ever fly one of these before on the server? No, never, never. Oh, well, but careful with the RPG. Don't the don't hit me with it. Wait, is that is that? No, no, that's not my RPG. Yeah. I also have an RPG. It's an RPG. Oh yeah, uh, look, check this out. Check this out. Bro, no way you're gonna shoot. Oh, damn. Ooh, you, yes, okay, sir. okay. How many shots do you have? I, I only I only have one RPG rocket, and it's loaded in. I have uh, six more shots. Six more? Okay, I'm gonna hit that frog. You see that frogo? Oh no, not the frogo. I'm gonna hit the frog. One, two, three, go! Oh, clean hit! You, clean you hit! Made you made it fly. Yeah, I did. It, it, it completely flew up. Clean hit. I'm pretty good with the rocket launcher. Okay, um, uh, well... We take off, uh, make sure you got your parachute just in case. Oh yeah, of course, of course. By the way, uh, FYI, you can close the, the side doors if it's like a little bit windy for you. Or you can... Oh, or you can... Pilot seat. Oh, bro, bro, you can't be in the pilots. You can't be in the pilots. Do you know how to fly? Nope. <laughs> I, I, don't think I, I don't think I want to learn to fly, you know? Uh, if you know how to fly, you, you take the rain. You okay, take the pilot seat. okay. I'm increasing oh, the throttle. Oh, you know what? Uh, careful, careful though. Wait, 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 Watch wait. out for the ro roller blades behind. Don't, don't go into the roller blades. I'm no, in, no. I'm in. It's go fine. at the other other side. Go, go, go at the other side. Ah, uh, it's so windy. It's it so is. loud. <laughs> it's so loud. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, are we ready for a liftoff? Yep. Let's go. Show me what you got. Increasing the throttle. Increasing the throttle. We're going up. Decreasing a little bit, decreasing uh, a little this is bit. Insane. We're actually flying. Yeah, we are, but it's very clunky, very clunky. But it, it works. It works super good. We can cover long distances with this one, like super long distances. Okay, we're gonna go ahead you're, now. You're, you're getting some air. We're pretty high. Uh, don't worry about it. It's like cool. I I got everything under the control. Uh, you want to go into like some major city? Cause we can go anywhere pretty much. I don't know, but you're you're the professional. You tell me where we need to go. The desert is really expansive, huh? It's so huge. Okay, I'm gonna hit the throttle on full speed. Have Ooh, your okay. parachute equipped just just in case, okay? Okay, okay, got it. I mean, hopefully, guess... hopefully the blades won't be destroyed completely. <laughs> you better get some distance if you want. Actually, you know what? C can you teach me how to fly? Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, I can. Yeah. Uh, it's basically your numpad. That's the controls for the airplane. Uh, I, I mean, the helicopter. The helicopter. Oh, we're entering the city. Be careful with the buildings. They can get pretty high, pretty tall. They go pretty high, but they don't go like more than 20 stories high. Because that's like the, the way Chernobyl was built. I watched the documents. Oh, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. I think you're shooting the helicopter when you're inside the helicopter. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Well, we're getting some speed and some ground. 
Oh, okay, that building was very tall and I did not yeah, look at it at it. all. That was a little bit too close. Yo, yo, are, are we... Be careful, be careful. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good, trust, trust. I'm just getting a little bit lower for a little bit more <laughs> specialty. Because I'm, I'm a pretty good flyer. Look, I can turn, I can do yeah, anything I want. Oh, we're answering the swamp, the swamp biome. Gotta be careful, there's a lot of bandits in this one. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we're not gonna sh get shot down. Some bases do you have uh, mortar systems, and that means that they got rockets that they can fire automatically oh. on the machines and they lock on you. Has uh, have you got flares on this helicopter? What do you mean? No, no, I don't. What do you Ooh. mean? Have I got flares? <laughs> You're playing a very dangerous game, then. Okay, we're g we're gonna go to the left a, li a little bit more. Trust me, I'm a good pilot. I can handle these uh, maneuvers. I think. I hope. <laughs> uh, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. I can. I can. I, f I flew this baby like plenty of times. Damn. Damn, damn. I, I flew plenty. Damn. I flew plenty of times before. What's wrong with this? Why is it not turning? Why, why are we flying sideways, bro? We got a lot of a lot, a lot of throttle. Yeah, all good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna head like to a more spaced out area, somewhere where I can land, and then I can teach you to fly if you want to. Okay, uh, is this area good? Uh, yep. Seems if you can land. Damn. Whoa, whoa, are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about Maybe it. Don't worry about blocks. it. Yeah, yeah, we hit a few blocks. We hit a few blocks, but we're still in the air. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's that's the space. That's the space where we can land. Okay, decreasing the throttle. Increasing the throttle, but sideways. Okay, decreasing the throttle again. Okay, trust me. I'm good. Trust me. I'm good. I know what I'm doing, bro. We're gonna go backwards a little bit. That's like the... Technical maneuver I can teach you also. <laughs> now we increase the throttle. And now we decrease it again. Oh, nice. And nice. now gonna, we get out. I'm and that's it. That's it. How you like it? How 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 are it's my insane. skills? It's insane. I'm my hands are shaking. Your hands are <laughs> shaking, Malto. Malto, if you want to get in the pilot seat, I can like check it out. I can see what's up. I'm pretty sure you can fly, like, it's it's not difficult at all. Oh, yeah, oh, of course, the controls are 7, 9, yeah. 7 is to hold 7 to increase the rotor speed, 9 to decrease the rotor speed. Don't press A, S, D, because A and D, they kind of make your just thing turn sideways, and it doesn't really change your trajectory much. But it's still cool, cool, cool. You know I can what? Make sure to get some cool shots of this, because this is. Bro, really I'm insane. I'm throwing a smoke grenade. We, we can we can head out cool, cool guy style. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. There's Increase fuel in this thing. Oh, there's enough fuel. I've got jerry cans on me. You gotta hold seven, bro. Hold seven on the numpad. I think I have to key bind it. No, 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 no. Hold seven. Yeah, the control set up. Come on, dude. You can do this. I believe in you. At the end of the day, I can just hop on the pilot seat if you have difficulties. Are you even here or did you AFK? Malto. Malto, my bro. Guys, I think we I think Malto was gone. I think, I think you can get in. I think you can get in. Malto. Do you have a flashlight or something? Uh no. No. Also, just use show me show me that you can fly. Show me that you can fly. Ah. Show me that you can fly. Can you, can you pass me a uh, uh, torch? Bro, no torch, no torch. Increase the speed, and I I will get in because it's a it's a little bit hefty out here. Increasing the speed. Are you sure? Oh, yes. yep, yep. Okay, I'm jumping in. I'm in, I'm in. We can We can go, we can go. Yes, let's go. Let's go, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, bro, I, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. It's your, 
we, we can fly now. You're, you're cool. You're cool. I'm in. Don't worry about it. Um, can I even close the door somehow? Is that is that possible? Is that possible for me to close the door from the in from the inside? I don't think I can. Dude, I can probably switch seats. Oh, you good? You're doing some maneuvers. Are you good, bro? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are the fuel gauges? Are they holding up? Yep, they're holding up good. Just uh, covering a lot of ground. It's it's a pretty big map. It is. Oh, look at that. There's like some houses. That's weird. I, I was never at those those houses before, so that's cool. Um, I'm trying to look out for like bases and players, but are they like pretty hidden? Do players live on the trees? Because that's that's the plan that I had in mind at one point. Do they like trees? Oh, bro, bro, careful. Oh, you're playing. You're you're playing it. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. You've been flying for one day. What do you mean professional? You've been fly flying for one day, Malto. You can't be a professional. I have my license. Don't worry. You you have your license. Okay. Well, I believe you. Oh, we're coming up closer. I believe maybe there's gonna be like some sort of radioactive like sound, like Chernobyl. Are we, are we in the Chernobyl zone? Do you think? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have access to the map for you right now. I'm too busy. We're too busy, eh? Hey, all good, all good. Well, if you just keep on flying straight, I'm certain we'll get back to my base in no time. Oh, look at this. There's, like, a pretty good terrain. We can even land here if we'd like to. But no, no, no need to land, no need to land. We're chilling, we're chilling. Looking out for a loot, by the way. If there's, like, a crash site, I, I noticed so many. Uh, f oh, look at that. There's something tall here. Oh, okay, it's good that I got some air. I, I can parachute in. I can parachute in if I want to. Hey, you sure can, you sure okay, can. Okay, uh, I'll see you on the ground then, air. yeah? No, 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 let me let me get some air first. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a good idea for you to get some air, because if I fall out and the parachute doesn't work, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty big I iffy. <laughs> but all good, bro, all good. Don't need this. Okay, um... But don't you jump out, okay? Because I, I need the helicopter. <laughs> I'm gonna try and land it. Oh, you're gonna land it? Oh, sure. Land it somewhere where I'm gonna jump out, okay? I'm gonna land it in the middle of that factory, okay? You got it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at you then. Okay, I'm gonna jump out in three, two, one. Oh, I'm out. Oh, I, I, he, he's too far away. Does the voice come work over such such a long distance? Bro, I can see him. I can see him fly the thing. This is amazing. What what an amazing experience. This is like the best. He turned off the rollerblades, bro. He turned off. Hey, turn on the rollerblades. Oh, he's sky falling. Bro, who's gonna fall first, me or him? By the way, I need to be careful not to get struck by his rollerblade. He is free falling. Oh, he's gonna blow it up! He's gonna destroy my... He's gonna destroy it, bro! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna fall, fall fall, a little bit. Uh, uh, there's Malto! That's him! Malto! Malto, can you hear me? Malto! Malto! Down! Oh, oh, oh! Malto! Also, did you land it? Or did it blow Mom, up? Can't hear you. What do you mean? Did, did you land it? Did you My land it? Ringing. I have one heart. You have no way you exploded it? <laughs> yes, I did. Bro, I I asked you specifically not to do that. Oh my god, guys. We we gave him one time. I mean, I mean, I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I'm not mad, because it's not even mine to begin with, I'm pretty sure I stole it from some players. Pretty sure I stole it from, oh, oh, he is whipping out his RPG. Hey, that's cool, that's cool. What is this place? There's I have so not been here ever before, so I am not certain, but you know what, there are two of us, so I'm pretty sure we, we can handle, like, if a, if a player sees us or something, we can handle them. This place seems pretty crazy. By the way, I'm pretty sure it's like a Chernobyl zone. 
Can you hear me? Are you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I was just trying to kill myself up because uh, the uh, I had to really evacuate before before the helicopter hit the ground. You you had one health. A hey, congrats. At least at least you're good on that one. Okay. Um. There we go. So, uh, you want to loot, loot this place up? Because it might have some good loot. There's also a railway. I'm pretty sure going... Oh, no, yeah, let's that's check that. it out. What's in here? You went inside somewhere? Oh, you went inside this building? Yeah, there's nothing here, to be honest. Nothing? What about this building? Nope, Bro, what's going on? This place, it's, like, deserted. And there's, like, some form of engineering going on. By the way, this server has so much iron... I have literally unlimited weapon choice with this siren, because there's so much of it. Well, yeah, of course, it's uh, it's made a little bit easier, I think, so we could craft weapons and stuff. Wait, is that Steve? Oh, is, that, is that you, Steve? I think it is. Steve! Steve! Is that you? Steve. Oh, no! Oh, Steve, got Steve got is a zombie in. now! No! Steve got infected! Steve got put down like, like a dog! That's not good! <laughs> Wait, you good? Um, Wait, wait, what's the radiation? Uh, can you check the radiation real quick? Uh, sure can. Let me check. It's, it's I just zero. I think. It's oh, zero. It's zero. Uh, maybe I just smoked up some fumes from the helicopter crash site. I just put my mask on. Let's hope it's gonna be a I mean, it better. is a gas detector. Maybe it only detects gas, but I was relying on this to actually get me the radiation signals as well before. We need to check out that. There's oh. different... Yeah. There's different modes for the gas detector. You can add uh, add attachments to it that check for radiation. You still have that cool axe. I haven't found the axe before. Dude, can we climb up all the way onto them big things? That's that's that would be so insane. You want to climb up one of these towers and sleep on them? Because uh, this seems like a pretty good place that we can help, uh, spend the night. Help! Help! You gotta build. You gotta build me up. Bro, what? Okay, um, there. There, there. Move, move, move a little bit. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now, now the zombies can't get to us. Thanks. Wait, you can wave, bro. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, um, we should sleep the night somewhere. Maybe across we these should, towers. Should, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. There is. I think there is someone over there. You see him? You see him? I, I'm I'm looking, but I can't see him. No, no. Uh, what 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 do they have? What weapon do they have? Is it in no, the tree I, I line? They, just went the, they went into the tree line. Never mind. Never mind. Is that really your bad? It is. Is is it is it bad? <laughs> oh, you have I one of them cool me. bads. You tell me. How, how, where do I get a cool bad? Oh, you just gotta find it. It's really rare. Yo, uh, you see them zombies on the ground? You think I can hit them from here? Do you do you think? You might hit us. I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna jump off a little bit. Okay, try and shoot him now. Yeah. Try and get him. Oh, you got him! I hit one. I hit one. There is a big group by the by the building. I'm gonna hit him as well. Oh, yes. Whoa. Let's go. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. You're a pretty good shot. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Um. Oh wow. You you got some more. Here, listen, I'm gonna get back to my base. You can get back to- Ooh. Okay, you, you can get back to your base. You can you can keep the chopper. Don't mind the chopper that you destroyed. Like, it's cool. I have I have pretty much plenty of- Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I nearly fell to my death, bro. Hey, uh, thanks for the chopper. Yeah, it's-, it's Oh, no problem. It was fun good. flying. If it, if it got destroyed, I don't even care, because it was real fun flying it. It was fun while, while we had it. Plus, you can keep the other chopper. If you build it off, because I think it's made missing like a roller blade. Wait, when you crashed, you should have got like some some used up mat materials from it. Did, did you get a roller blade from the crash? Check your uh, inventory. Yeah. It's oh, like yeah, called a roller I blade. I have so many seats. Oh yeah, okay. You picked up quite quite a bit of stuff then. Yeah, that's. You like know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get some seats. I'm gonna get some seats. <laughs> well. Either way, at least get one seat. Here, at least get one seat because you need it to uh, operate the helicopter. Okay, well, yeah, nice. let's head maybe in this direction, I believe, that we came from. And then we can uh, 
then we can peace out. How, how, how do you get over this wall without using a parachute? I'm gonna try and use a parachute real you got quick. Pickaxe? Yeah, I do. I have a diamond pickaxe. This forest is gonna be um pretty big. Did you notice, by the way, how big the forests are sometimes? Oh yeah, they're huge. You even gotta use a flashlight on some of them if you wanna see uh wanna see clearly. I know, I know. That's that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. But it, you know what? Without a helicopter, it's gonna take us a little bit of time to get back into the city. It's uh we traveled quite a bit across the map. Uh, Zombies. Oh, bro. This server needs a, a mod called Waystones or something like that. <laughs> that would be useful, but it would break the immersion. It would be break the immersion a little bit, I agree, but it's pretty it's pretty cool. Because I used it for like um, single player Let's Plays and uh, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, I get it, I get it. I mean, yeah. Damn, you play you play a lot on the server, huh? I mean, the video is not gonna be made by on its own. That's just kind of. I, I like making videos. I, I really enjoy making videos. Hey guys, hey guys! If if you're watching the video, subscribe to this guy. He's he's legit. I'm a real That's, one. <laughs> cool. I'm a real one. Thank you, thank you. Of of course, my pleasure. Thank you for the shout out on my own video, Malto. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. <laughs> guys, we are. Finally back at the base Me and Malto parted ways halfway when we got into the city But here we are back at the base and it's been such a long journey. I had so much fun I'm completely pimped out with all of all sorts of loots. I am completely uh, in Intrigued by everything that I did. It's uh, it was a blast. It was really a blast. I enjoyed my time and I hope you guys did as well. It was, as always, a pleasure. But the pleasure is in reality mine. So let's sleep the final night. Finally. Day 100, guys. This is day 100. Guys, as always, you know what to do. It's been me, as always, Fizz with you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe button. And make sure to leave down in the comments the next theme that you want to see me record on. It can be anything from Civilization, 100 Days, a Let's Play, I don't know. You, you can name a different game. If there is enough support in the comments, I will record anything you guys want. Absolutely anything at all. So just let me know what you want to see next. And I will be there and I will be ready for you guys. So thank you again. Without you guys, I would not have the motivation to record these videos. And it's your guys'. Uh, uh, all of your doing that makes me really, really passionate about making videos and being doing this whole thing in general. So thank you both so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I'll see you boys in a little bit. Bye-bye.